I think Barry wants East Coast to win so that he can say that because he was part of the 10v10. Oh, so he's I better see. than West Coast sense. by proxy. <laughs> okay. Got it, got it. All right, we're getting sense. into it. God damn guy, Barry, bro. Okay. So, wow, what a way to start it off as well, right? East Coast versus West Coast. Kai Kisuke versus Soul Bad Guy. That's not how it usually goes, though. Usually, I feel like the East Coast is the one playing the super top tier character and West Coast trying to explore some funky stuff. <laughs> well, the roles are reversed this time, right? We got Soul with Cloud. I don't know what you're talking about, man. They, it's, it's it's Soul versus Soul, right? I mean, the characters look exactly True. the same here. <laughs> True. Kai doing his best cosplay. We'll see if he can uh, take some of those buffed gameplay elements from his uh, his cosplay as well. Ooh already getting the counter hit at the wall, and my man Cloud did not want to eat that quick burst. Check the legs. OTG with the Bandit Ringer as well. Right now, Mysterious Stranger, though. You can see my man grinds it out online. He's got the aura and everything, so he's used to these yeah. environments. I'm really curious to see how much, uh, you know, Stranger's going to be able to use the, the, the nerf to Souls far as, you know, trying to faultless defense it to knock him back, but also getting a lot of good buffs with Kai as well. And here comes Cloud just trying to run in classic soul style. <laughs> yeah, I really like the timing on that RC from Mysterious Stranger too. He did a really late PRC after that uh, stun dipper, but that's because Cloud knew he had the meter, right? So he was like really respecting it. And then he, he was able to drift forward and grab him. It looked like Cloud was even sticking out of normal. I think Mysterious Ooh. Stranger like delayed it that long to do something like that, but either way. Nope, no punish on that DP either, so. Oh, okay, nice side go. switch. Okay, Cloud. And now wall break, this should do it right there. So we're 1-1, one, one. and again, this is two out of three. Each one of these, and each player has two lives. So even after they lose one, they're not out of the turn, out of the exhibition just yet. They'll still be involved uh, with one more life in the wings. Yeah, nice little tick throw right here, keeping the shock state on top of soul as well. That's mad plus frame, just respecting it for now. No challenge from Cloud. Yeah, that is negative. So he gets out there with that far S, but still locked in this corner. PRC up the stun dipper. Yeah, gets gets the burst out of Cloud now. So Cloud now without any burst. He's got to do something here. But look at this pressure from Stranger right now. Oh, okay. And that should do it right there. Like I said, no burst available yeah. on deck. Standing punch is going to do it. And that was really smart from Mysterious Stranger after the... Um... What's it called? The 214S from Kai. I never remember what the name of that move is. But it was funny because that's a really negative move, right? And a Soul, Cloud tried to take his turn back with 6S, but you got to remember that the hitbox on that 6S, the lower end of it was nerfed. So he just pressed the 2K afterwards, and then that ended up countering like the, the 6S from Cloud. So already kind of utilizing some of the changes from Soul. change society we were just uh so, obviously with other one. first to 50 minutes or on right now someone was talking about how important it is to win the first game and i think in team tournaments it's even more important that one to one is like just to really establish that for your team yeah, right now oh you can see right there to the 6p up against the 6s <laughs> that was so good from the same trainers <laughs> Go, tries to go for that meaty standing kick setup. Uh, Kai can get that automatically timed. Super, super meaty stand kick. Uh, but the wake up DP from Cloud blowing that up. Yeah, you can see after the 204S from Kai last time, Cloud just dashed up and blocked. He's very wary of Mr. Stranger after that 2K now. Yeah, yeah, hasn't been using the faultless defense. Oh, you saw it go right under that 6S. Yep, yeah, change to the box, but there we go. Gonna confirm off the counter hit, far S. I mean, you can nerf it on block and push block or whatever, but on counter hit, it's still the most ridiculous combo starter in the game. There we go, Cloud. I'm feeling a little bit more brave after that special. Now taking his turn back. Ooh, the bravery can get you killed if you don't respect the DP. <laughs> That was a good time for Mysterious Stranger. Bring it out, gets the 5k as well. Didn't even catch him out of the air, caught him on the ground. Not mm -hmm. sure what uh, Mysterious Stranger was trying to do, but gets the gold burst timing. Oh, oh my and Jesus, the back dash. What a read. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. Ends up with just finally this time in the media. He got clipped by the 5k as a heartbreaking way for that round to end. Mysterious Stranger was definitely on his way back. However, the set is all tied up, one up. And as you mentioned, James, it is a very important to establish a lead for your team early, right? Yeah. Kind of get momentum in your corner a little bit, get morale up. 
But uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. It's tied up now. We'll see who can clutch it out for the team. Yeah, and part of me was like, "Am I crazy? Do I hear Final Fantasy battle music?" Yes, I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man. We always got the custom soundtracks. You know, the other first yeah. of 15 ain't the only game that got custom soundtracks. You feel me? <laughs> we out here on all, all the oh, clowns. Wow. Yeah, that yeah. far as midair didn't grant him too much of a follow up and already 2K2 be knocked down. Great backdash to get some space yeah. back. But yeah, shocks they flip kick. You see Cloud just respecting. Yeah, shocks ain't still on. Gets the burst right now. Spends that burst and stun raw stun dipper from downtown. Nicely done. Catches. Cloud 805 locking, running, basically. Now we get to knock down one more time. Punishes him. Actually, going to be able to side switch, yeah. Because yeah, the thing about it is, I mean, Cloud has been waking up with buttons a lot. So I think that's what Mysterious Stranger is trying to bait out. But here we go. Mysterious Stranger now just one hit away. Comes in with the Stun Dipper. Woof. Yeah, he had no meter to actually cancel it right there. But I think Cloud didn't actually take that into account. Wasn't ready to take his turn back. Oh, dang. Okay, just run up and throw. Cloud trying to show a little bit of aggression right there. Nice back dash. Gets the punish. Now, yeah, he's got to start these soul games what? up, but too meaty, bro. He ended up blocking that far in the air, so it extended the block stun. <laughs> okay, here we go. The pressure. I oh, he mistimed it. He just mistimed the meaty, unfortunately. And again, Cloud waking up with buttons, and it's working. And ah, the dust went the wrong way. Well, it'd be like that sometimes. So you get betrayed by the uh, buttons you trust the most. But a great confirm <laughs> and a wall break as well. So there's going to be advantage on wall break. Ooh, BRC oh backdash. Get some space. Want to be extra safe about it. Yeah, one of the best options. Nice. I think that should be able to finish the round. There you go. Now we got the last game, last round here to find out who's going to go up first. Is it going to be great... Cloud from the West or Mysterious Stranger from the East? And that was a, such a good interruption from Cloud right there. He had been getting bullied by that 2 and 4 s setup, but he finally found the gap and he has rode that to a big lead. Fafnir in the corner as well. Just Ada going to get the wall break with a 6S. This is yeah. huge for Cloud at this point. Yeah. Oh, he actually built the meter. BRC or PRC, excuse me, really late. PRC right back actually gets the roll <laughs> for it, though. Oh, right oh, up oh, under. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, of course, of course. No choice but to burst at that point. Cloud reading it gets the RC in time so we can block and punish the burst. Game number one goes to Cloud 805. Or Indeed. I should say match number one. Yeah, so that's one live down. So if you're just tuning in, you're not sure how the format is going for this first attempt between East Coast and West Coast. It's going to be two out of three each set, and each player has two lives, right? So Mysterious Stranger is not out of the entire exhibition just yet. He's got one more life, and he'll be up later, most likely. And there is going to be, like, um, the winner staying on. So afterwards, the losing team can send up whoever they want. It's not no set order or anything like that. They can pick their best counter to uh, Cloud805 here and see what they respond with. You know, I, I still enjoy the fact that we see like Hotashi's name in game and Trema's name in game. It's crazy. It should have been switched now. West Coast versus East Coast, first to ten here. <laughs> yeah, that'd be yeah, it would be cool if we could get like updates and whatnot. Like you know, I like the Evo results rocking for a little bit, but it would be sick if we could get like NLBC results or WNF results or whatever. You know, Tampa Never Sleeps results, um, can opener. It, it'd definitely be dope if we could get stuff like that in the game but this is a good start you know what i'm saying people have been paying attention oh, yeah. to the developer side of things and whatnot so yeah we'll see what east coast responds with east coast got a lot of heavy hitters on deck if you're not sure of the rosters yet a lot of these players are i've tweeted it out and pretty much every tweet has uh, accompanied or has been accompanied by the graphic so there's a lot of great players in this exhibition east coast still has mm -hmm. super new sonic fox k7 tempest sq no kami days orion and timo all with two lives and of course Ooh. west coast Got Apology Man, Joe Biden, Reynolds, Cloud Fu, Kizzy K, Chetu, Reflected, Mike Saftig, and Red Ditto. So yeah, top to bottom, it's going to be dangerous for these competitors. I mean, one thing that I also like to see, though, is, you know, obviously there's not a huge amount here, but like we have two players from Mexico, including Mike Saftig, who's been doing mm -hmm. damage in the Wednesday night fights, and Timo from Canada on the East Coast team. Really cool, again, to see the international nature of you know guilty gear strive players coming from all over the place obviously you know if we 
if this was going up against Europe, we would have had all the EU players here, but you know, good net code allowing us to play, play, you know, have players play from all over the place. It's always a good thing. It always makes me happy to see. Oh yeah, hundred percent, man. And it's really cool because a lot of these thoughts uh, this time around also got decided by qualifying events, right? It was a, a bunch of players that qualified from uh, one of the, or not one of the, but the many events that were going on. We got qualifiers from B Levo 3. We had a Cloud Series qualifier from Ch uh, Chetsu and Days. Both qualified through that. That's a Clouds tournament. So definitely uh, really cool stuff, actually. Joe Biden in and up with the replacement from Iron also got uh, chosen <laughs> as a placement for the TCS qualifier. So yeah, man. Joe Biden, dude. Joe Biden. I mean, you know what? I mean, He's not going to give us the universal health care because he's scared of the beatdown that he's going to have to give everybody over here. You know, he doesn't want to have to pay for that. So, <laughs> yeah, bro, like I, I, this, is, this, I think needs to be tradition at this point in the FGC. We need like a people named after our president. We got like Maj and Obama and now we got Joe Biden. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. glad we skipped the one in between that. Good, good job, FGC. We yeah, didn't need a person enough. named after that dude. But, you know, right now we got to keep it going as long as we keep going forward, you know? Oh man. Well, uh, do we have their player that they've said? Oh, it looks like it's going to be No Kami. No Kami coming up here. Oh, who has let's go. Rocking the Zato. Zato, a character who has definitely gotten stronger. But uh, also, just one of those characters that I feel like has definitely needed a lot more bake time than a lot of other characters. And so, I mean, we definitely lost uh, the, the one of the best autos in Japan, Gobo, to uh, Gold Lewis. Right? Man, you don't gotta bring that shit up, man. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Don't be bringing that up. That's uh, that's like a breakup. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> sorry. Don't remind I completely me. forgot. Okay. <laughs> But, yeah, uh, of course, no comedy has been holding it down for Zato since uh, Exert, I believe. He's been a, a Zato player since that game, and obviously in this game as well, been holding down the character. I think he won a tournament recently as well and got second place at another recent tournament. So, no comedy continuing to play very well. And I think in this matchup in general, Zato does just fine against Soul, honestly. I think this is one of, even before the patch, I think he did all right against the character, but it's not looking like that right now. Yeah, right now. Cloud 805 is just basically, Cloud 805 is just doing what he normally, what you want to do with Soul, yeah. Just get in the face, get a few shimmies in there, backdash, get a counter hit, and then take the round. Cloud 805 doing Soul things, Soul bad guy things here in round number one. Ooh, the oppose, nice. But the immediate burst, and there is one of the weaknesses of Zato, always kind of has been the dead angles and bursts taking out Eddie. Mm -hmm. And great. Yeah. Oh, that was so unfortunate the way that went down right there. He actually got a huge damage starter. People know that is the way you want to start Zato combos, but he ended up just falling out. It looked like it was kind of an awkward hit on the frog or the 2H. Good block on the overhead dust from Cloud805. Cloud does have really good reactions. It's going to be tough to hit him with some tap dust set up. I, I think. We'll see. Oh, oh. Cloud has definitely been getting a lot of play Ooh. off of that shimmy and a late burst. God damn, no his health, but... bro. Yeah, yeah no Kami he... having a burst right there because if he wall stuck in a wall, bro, he was actually dead. Yeah. <laughs> and last round, you're not taking that burst with you to the next game. Oh, God, the air throw. Nice. Ooh, and he does get the air throw, and it's a huge chunk of damage on uh, Zato, third lowest health of the game. 1 0 for Cloud 805, just like that. All right. Well, Damn, again, so. this would be a rough one now for East Coast if they go down two players. But again, after they've lost, they're not out of it. They can still come back. I don't. Do you know what the rule is? Do they have to go through every player once before they go into the other player, or can they send them up again? Can well, no that's comment a other question. Like, that I, don't I just know. wonder if no comment could be like, "Yo, let me get the run back." <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. That would definitely be sick if somebody just like it took a salty first life and they're like, I'm staying on. I gotta take this person's life. Ooh, okay, there we go. Oh, he was too far away. Oh no. Interesting. I don't. Oh, I'm not sure if No Kami's having some execution errors or if that was like an intentional pose setup at the end of that combo or what. But either way, he's got a big life lead. He's got Eddie back as well. Try to get the dust a little bit too long, but has him in the corner. Gotta buy some time while Eddie Meter comes back. How does make his way out? Get some good. Oh, nope. Just setting it up for the here. 
Yeah, the oppose was there, so I think that was the reason why he oh. went for that Roman cancel to hit Eddie and then still get the follow-up. A nice throw by Nokami. Yeah, if you ever like a, threw throwing a tag into a pose or something like that, you should always RC it. You got the meter to do so. Oof. Uh, those shimmies have been working so well, so I like that Nokami is showing a little bit more patience. Got him, but he's not gonna get the full combo. Obviously, the two spike hits from Zod from Eddie. I'm sorry, don't actually combo oh, naturally. God, he died from that again. And yeah, I mean, that was a really smart challenge right there from Cloud. He found one of the gaps in the Zato pressure sequences and just 5k'd right through it. And you see the nerf on the Bandit Bringer as well. You can literally see in the animation how significantly the recovery was added to it. But, ooh, he was trying to take down a Bagdash right there. I thought he would wake up with a Bagdash. That's why he went that extra length with the run. But right now, Cloud trying to run away with the set. Yeah, see, here's the thing, right? I mean, this, I was talking about how Nokami started getting more patience, not falling for the shimmies as much. He reset the Eddie Gage, but that's why Cloud now is going for the actual throws because he needs to set up that shimmy again. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, you see, the tab does is still have not been working out. Cloud's reactions are really good. Mm -hmm. okay. Trying to bait something out, I'm not gonna give it to him here. Oh, just waiting for him to come down, checking with the 5p <laughs> afterwards. Cross under that's how you got to play against Eddie, though. Oh my goodness, yeah, he bursted early. Great avoidance with the regular law there. And a nice Eddie-less combo on top of that. Gonna buy time to get the Eddie meter back. Not looking to summon recklessly, though. He's respecting it. Let's put the Gunflame to go out first. No unsummon here, but he's got meter to cancel. Yes, Sword. You gotta respect this. The frame trap. Oh, Night Raid! Oh, he just got right through there! Is he gonna be able to build the burst in time? No, actually, Cloud doesn't get the combo, but the shimmy at the end is going to take it. Cloud 805 taking the first two matches now. My goodness, I can't believe it. He let the Night Raid Vortex rock and it got past like the the absorption box just barely. It ended up hitting Zato, that was rough. All right. So now No Kami is down one life. Let's see uh, who East Coast decides to send up here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I yeah, I figure. I think a lot of people thought No Kami was the favorite going into that match. You know, I had him winning that set, but you know, my man Cloud bounced it back, letting him know that he's not just a Dragon Ball player, two O like that. And I mean, yeah, man. I mean, before that, he was a Marvel player. Like this man, when I talk about his reactions, like I'm not joking. Like he he's not that much of a young man anymore, but he's still on the, <laughs> the you know what I'm saying. Like he's not as old as a lot of us. So don't test him. Don't test him too much. see what east coast decides to do at this point see who decides who they decide to show up uh to, to to send up next we still see no kami on the screen right now well yeah he might be trying to convince the rest of the team let me get my run back right now oh no he just left. <laughs> oh we got days uh, in the building okay days like is coming up here yep days are rocking the giovanna yeah, I like his avatar, actually. The Giovanna with the Milia hat. I don't know why it works. <laughs> Dude, it's not as good as the Potemkin in a, in a, in a tutu, man. Come on. That's, that's... <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> that was my PlayStation avatar. So... No, man. All right. Mankind knew that they... the right, Giovanna, so these. Hmm. Nice rush down here. Let's see if they can fight rush down with rush down here. There we go. Starting with that far uh, 5H. And here we go. The corner pressure for days right now. Yeah, and Cloud, you can see he was committed to holding up after that close set. So already some intel for days. And then, of course, the dash far S confirmed for the super. It's going to be a lot of damage and the wall break. You got a guess for game already, Soul. Yep. And gets that positive meter bonus now. Trying to test to those his own Oh, the back dash to avoid the run up throw. Nicely done, Days. Taking round number one, uh, extremely convincingly. <laughs> that was a that was a million round for sure. So, ooh, if you're Cloud, you gotta try to just forget about that, play your usual game. But right now, still finding himself, just having a sequel. Oh, He's trying to get the far S going, but Days is staying at a great distance. PR seeing as well to keep the pressure on. Stealing his turns as well with these like spiral arrows and then DPing after the whip kick. My goodness, perfect challenge. Great combo starter for her as well. Cloud trying to hold on to this heart. 
Yeah, got a burst late, but you saw the nerf to that success? Just didn't hit out of the air as easily as it did before. So as a result, Cloud dropping that combo. Yeah, that's plus frames. You can't be hitting buttons after that. That was super late plus frames too. I, I wonder if he thought it was gonna whiff. It like made him block at the last moment. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh -oh. Damn, just, all right, let's go West Coast. This is the tactics I wanna see. They get a game, we disconnect. <laughs> Break the momentum <laughs> up. Don't let them build any type of stuff going, you know? <laughs> I see you, Cloud805, with your shenanigans. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. It was so funny, too, because, like, you know, Giovanna, when she dashes and attacks, she slides so far forward. And, you know, I was always like, oh, okay, that's just, you know, the game, right? And then I saw one of the changes to Kai in the patch notes. Like, his far S maintains more, more of the momentum when he does it through running. I was like, dang, they can change it on a move to move basis. No wonder Giovanna's dash attacks are so scary because they just made her slide so far forward. Yeah, it's, it's wild to be honest, man. Like, <laughs> she goes so far. That's why it's like, when you like play her in training mode for the first time and you like just press her normals, you're like, oh, these don't go that far. And then you like, you press them with dash momentum and you're like, oh, they're full screen, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna see Cloud if I'm not challenging after the drill anymore. Oh, but yeah, see, he was expecting it. So just uh, taking that opportunity to dash up and get the throw. It's so fast. And actually delaying the throw, knowing that Daze was going to backdash. Yeah, we saw Ooh, Cloud be very mindful of that in the last set as well. Giovanna trying to hold on to his heart, though. Daze, considering the burst is worth it here. He's got 50% tension as well. We'll see if he tries to steal some turns, runs into a success instead. And you can see Cloud is doing this dash throw where he's like <laughs> dashing a little bit longer than you usually would. And that's two like read back dashes and stuff. And a lot of the time, <laughs> since that, since throw is still two frames, you'll throw a lot of the normals they choose to challenge with in those right, scenarios. Right, right. Yeah. Still fast. Not quite instant like they used to be. The two frames is as fast as it can be without being <laughs> instant. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's still faster than any normal, right? Yeah. Ooh, tries to get in there with a dust and was challenged, but then the classic, the far S from cloud 805 taking game number two so they're tied one to one yeah and a good stuff from cloud man bouncing back i mean it felt like the blink of an eye like i mean as quickly as days beat him a game he beat days a game so one yeah. up just like that i mean he is streaking right now two lives already down he could potentially be a third this is i mean the best start i think the west coast could have asked for if he really brings this home all right yeah because at this point in time if a player starts streaking like this in a team tournament one of the cool things to think about is now do you send in the the ringer basically to cool them down to stop the streak and get your own streak right so do you send in a sonic fox do you send in a uh you know like a tempest or something like that right so that's the question 100 percent oh the sdp committed to but not punished PR City keep the pressure going and a great side switch end up opening him up and he's gonna take the corner for it oh cloud trying to get frisky on the wake up not respecting the safe jump but this could all crumble oh never mind <laughs> could, could have all crumbled but no it's good cookie's Dude, still it's against soul bad guy yeah <laughs> everything crumbled like you you are not good until you are good basically <laughs> Yeah, facts. Until that health bar is all the way deleted. Oh, just dash up DP. Let him know who you is. Gonna... Conversion is no, it's not gonna quite kill, but it's gonna be so close. Oh man, I can't believe I was right. I, I almost got to this <laughs> cursed cloud. But here we go, crumbling. Are we gonna see a crumble? Or is this? Oh god, too far away. He ran in too far for the 5K. Yeah. And there's the 6P, the duff to the face, and Days is gonna put the first match on for East Coast. Yeah, good stuff from Days, man. Really running away with that last game. Cloud didn't get the gold burst afterwards either, so that was gonna be a real tough comeback. No 100% tension to start getting ignorant with. Had to really earn it. I mean, Days has just been too solid. Definitely been entering tournament after tournament, has been doing really well. So glad to see them in the 10v10. Yeah. And, you know, in case anybody was uh, curious and this might come as a shock seeing how has it started, but uh, spoilers, Justin just took it 15 to five, so. <laughs> oh, that is a shock. I can't believe he got the five games. That's wild. Yeah. No, Justin definitely dropped one combo on purpose, I feel like. He had oh. a game that he won and he just let him survive, but I swear Justin was just trolling him, dude. Anyways, let's go.
back to Guilty Gear action here. Again, one of the cool things about, you know, people getting used to playing fighting games online and stuff, we've got content everywhere, dude. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not a competition, man. All these fighting game streams are out here. Let's just sit back and enjoy, watch all the fighting games, and let's have all the fun. Seriously, it's so great. Oh, yes, indeed, bro. It's, a, it's definitely a good time, and I'm glad everybody has been contributing to the uh to the fgc tournament life you know what i'm saying like um obviously there's a lot of strive tournaments going on but there's tournaments for pretty much all the big games all games in general big or small at this point people have just been grinding out cracking down on the fighting games absolutely and uh again you know shout i'm just so happy because like you know melty blood obviously coming out this month with the rollback net code King of Fighters 15 officially announced with the rollback net code. Nickelodeon All Stars <laughs> coming out with the roll, well, theoretically coming out with the rollback net code. But That's I mean, it's said. it's a good sign that all these games are coming out with all this rollback net code, and you know, <laughs> it's 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 we're entering. I mean, obviously, both of us know, you know, offline is still the go, but you know, <laughs> the fact that we can do both. You know, in yeah. a way that shows off new players and stuff like that, I think is going to be amazing. Yeah, you know, and it's really wild just the fact that there's so many people that ended up picking up fighting games for the first time during the pandemic. You know, all they've known is online fighting games. So it'll be just like a beautiful thing to see those players get to go offline for the first time and just watch their experiences, you know? So yeah, uh, there's a lot to look forward to here on the horizon for fighting games. And he, yeah, man, you brought the nigga all stars. You see, they've been releasing the move list for the characters. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking that seriously, man. <laughs> SpongeBob got the imagination clap, bro. Oh my <laughs> god, that I am so glad they gave him that the little rainbow thing. Oh, dude, man. dude, they 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 know what's going on, dude. They know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Patrick got a move list out too. I'm not sure if it's just beyond those two, but there's a there's a few. Nice, bro. Giovanna going up against Joe Biden's shit. Right. Uh oh, well, you're gonna eat. Oh, dang, I thought he was gonna eat way more damage, but he was trying to bait out the early burst. Interesting decision from Biden not to use it right away, but Daze is gonna use it, and he's gonna get some big damage here if there's no burst. Oh no. Bro, these ch I know the character has addiction problems, but the player's got a DP addiction problem, I gotta say. Oh no, the stands uh -oh. the wrong way. That's okay. It's unfortunate for days. Oh no, finish on the burst, but the DP is gonna take it. Try to DP again. Like it's just like it's not just Joe Biden. Literally every chip I've seen DPs like a madman. Like it's a summit, early type, every single one of them. And the funny thing is, like he's the character that's gonna die the most of that, you know. And they, 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 that's why they do it because they're like, <laughs> yeah. no chip would DP. This is totally unsafe. True, Ooh, I did. Jump to True, I did not say left, and that's a good point. I have not seen left and DP like this. So. <laughs> Joe Biden, just like that first game of days, oof, oof. Yeah, yeah. I think just I, I I'm gonna get myself kicked off on commentary because I'm just gonna be talking about how good Chips Jump 2K is now. You know, like how good is the nerf did nothing to it, and then I'm just gonna get disconnected by laughing. Mm -hmm. you've, been, you've been testing all the people running our productions, bro. What'd you say to Seg last time at ICS? So you're just. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, that game was pretty clean for days, right there. Well, yeah. chip for days. Man. All right. Oh, this the goal as well. So I mean, whatever days wants to approach, but he got the closest anti here. No follow up though. So at this point, giving him some space back. Oh, whip kick into the RC. Waits for a second just in case he wanted to burst. My God, Chip, your life! <laughs> oh, that Chip life, man. That's so sad. Dude. All right. Oh my, oh, that was nasty, that's... though. This doesn't convert for full combo. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's an easy burst to bait right there. You just know that's got to happen because he wants to take the round, so he had it all locked and loaded and ready to go. 
That was the Drift King style right there. I love those type of birthdays. Ooh, actually, yeah, challenging on the plus one. Here we go, time for Chip to get his thing started. <laughs> Tap through four jump kicks right there, set up the whole combo throw. Jump kick immediately into the alpha blade, again into the command throw. That's this a is one more hit here, just goes for the regular ground and cross up. Yeah, Chips really do love these. Put Darcy into command throw, and then you see with the tool. And plus frames there, and back dash is afterwards. Probably trying to bait out a DP from Joe Biden, considering he pressed buttons last time, so he would uh, DP instead. Oh no, that DB! <laughs> oh no, but Jay's dropping the combo. However, still with a huge life lead, the corner pressure would still be able to take this and tie it up for East Coast. Yeah, here we go, big damage, no burst. He's gonna survive for a little while now. Day stars is first available as well, so it's not gonna be in the world if he gets touched. Trey can't afford too many of those if you're Joe Biden. Gonna drag him all the way to the corner, a nice late burst right there. Very clutch burst because even though you took a lot of that damage, no, oh, oh, no pressure. Oh, <laughs> what a clutch backdash back from days. Yeah, the backdashing for days right there just to avoid that throw. Nicely done. And there we go. That should be 2 2 now. Uh, as you can see on the top of the screen right there, the score says 18 versus 19. It will say 18 versus 18. But the reason for that, again, in case you guys are just tuning in, there is a uh, two lives. Two. There are two lives for each player. Each player. Indeed. So after they lose one, they can still come back in and go again. Yes, precisely. So good stuff. All right, days tying it up just like that for East Coast. So you know, Cloud did a good job getting out to an early lead, taking two hearts down, but already tied back up in a quick fashion because that's how Giovanna gets down. You know. <laughs> What 11k points ask me anything i know you know the the channel point stuff is really a great addition to twitch one of my favorites mm -hmm. we'll see him the after oh so it looks like mike saftig is Ooh, okay mm -hmm. so bringing back another soul into the mix right now mm -hmm. already so we just had cloud 805 and now here we go mike saftig from mexico yeah, that's a good point though, yeah. Same matchup, right? Yeah, just going right back into the uh, the soul after Cloud. Did again a brief appearance from the chip, but wants to just bring up the protagonist once again. And yeah, Mike Saftig, if you're unfamiliar, uh one of the premier players in NAICFC. I believe he finished third overall in points for the season or second. Um and yeah, it's just been holding it down for the Soul Army in regards to that tournament. In general, I think he got second at EVO as well for Latin America, so yeah, the man has been doing well. Rocking the pink. Nice interrupts with that 5k. Top and far S. Yeah, right now, just uh, respecting the range on uh, both uh, players' normals for the most part. And of course, the uh, stuff like that too, the special, the night raid vortexes, the spiral arrows. Oh, what a good punish! Yeah, one of the things that I've noticed for my staff tick already is a lot of the. What? Okay, you know what? The DPs are not stopping. We've got air DPs now, just just us. Beautiful follow up right there, too. Days able to get the wall splat and the super. Huge damage, plus frames as well for the safe jump setup. Gets the back throw. Lost the cross at the last second. Ooh, back dash. PRC on both sides here. Nobody wants to interact there. Yeah, Zaftig has been doing this really well. I was about to say one of the things I've noticed is he was playing really, really defensive and had a lot of good jump backs to stop the dashing from Days. And then he went for that one DP, and then I, I don't, and then he lost all of his life and it just went downhill right, right there. <laughs> yep. I really like that setup at the end from Days as well, whipping the, the save jump to get the throw when he landed. Where you're smart. Yeah. Oh, and then the DPs again. And he got the counter hit dust combo. That was ridiculous. PRC, yeah, we're going to get that link because of the slowdown. Easy. Okay, here we go. Time for some pressure now. 
got to make something work. And again, soul can make you crumble. As we said, look at that. Here we go, the start of things. But a side switch out of the corner, that's huge benefit for Dale now. Yeah, I love that. Utilizing the uh, crouch dust as well. Doesn't even need it to seal it. The air dash, counter hitting, whatever anti-air attempt that Mike Saftig was trying to do right there. Probably the 5K. So, good stuff already, man. Days. He's been a monster. He's the one streaking now. Saftig still has another chance here. Yes, the winner does stay until they lose, as far as I know. I don't know if there's any, like, streak limit. So, man. The West Coast got to overcome their demons. Everybody got to overcome their demons. No running. Yeah. I mean, remember, too, West Coast was supposed to have a Giovanna on their team. We're supposed to have Marn, right? If I'm not mistaken. Indeed, indeed. So, I mean, these guys, hopefully that they've got their anti-geo practice here. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, right now, Daze is just running through people. Man, continue to do so at this point. Again, whipping the safe jump just to get the throw set up. And that time, actually putting the safe jump on just to get another throw. It's a nasty pressure right now. Respecting the plus frame, yeah. you saw the FD come out just to get thrown. My goodness. And the tap dust at the end. He is playing with his food. Man. <laughs> And again, keep in mind, Saftig no slouch. Like I said, top three at Wednesday night fights in the, in the season, if I'm not. Oh no, actually for the yeah, for Wednesday night fights, right? He's always doing well there. He's also always doing yeah. well for ICFC North America. That's what I'm thinking of right now. He's top yes. three there. And, uh, oh no! Yeah, this is not going well now for Saftig. <laughs> When there is no limit on wins confirmed, so yeah, I mean, they're gonna have to overcome whoever's streaking right now. And Days is continuing to build up this momentum. See if Saptic can hold on. He's on his last heart. What a DP right there. Present, but then drops the combo afterwards. Yeah, not too much of a conversion using the PRC to bully. What a backdash right there. Try to go maybe with a burst save follow up by holding on to it as Days. And then gets the backdash counter hit of his own. And that is a wrap for another West Coast player. Three lives down to days just like that. All right, so it's going to be East Coast 18, West Coast 17 now. Obviously, the sole bad guy is not doing the job here. So I wonder what they're going to try to think of. They've still got, you know, Apology Man, Reynold, Fu, Kizzy K, Cheeto, Reflected, and Red Ditto here uh, lined up. Joe Biden, Cloud805, and Mike Saftig now down a life, though they can still get in here and play if they, uh, uh, again, I'm not sure if they have to go through the whole lineup first, but the, they will be back again later on. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. What West Coast decides next. Hmm. What carriages they got under the belt again? You said Kizzy still hasn't gone yet. We got Red Ditto on the Ram Lethal. I'm wondering if we should set Red Ditto, Red Ditto up. I think that might not be a bad choice. What else we got? Fu, ooh, I can't. Mm, Fu, I think I think we can see Fu Potemkin. Fu Potemkin, maybe. I don't know how Apology Man likes the the Giovanna matchup. We'll see. I'm looking for Red Ditto or Fu though. Those are gonna be my predictions here. Oh, somebody has joined. Who who would be? Who is this small horse head avatar? Days gets clobbered by Potemkin. My man said clobbered. Shout out to CM Punk. Bro. Really? <laughs> it's clobbering time, baby. AEW wrestling's back and whatnot. All right, so who is it? Who dude, is I, I'm not a wrestling fan, but all I heard Chico. about was that yesterday, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Man. So it looks like they are uh, bringing Cheeto up to bat. He's going to be on the Leo. Another character, very dangerous, very explosive. Let's see how he does with days. Wow, this stuff micro dash 6 P has a hell of a challenge to start. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing a lot of talk about this character, obviously. A lot of people saying that he might be it's top in the game at top three. Chetu, I don't know how to say his name from. I like saying Cheeto, but if it's Chetu. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I just called him Cheeto, uh, but... Well, I'll just say I call him that as a loving nickname for the hair color that he chooses for his Oh, I see. <laughs> You're right. And his hair is covered in the dust. Oh, oh man. Man. 
Dude, now, now if he ever lands oh, like the, 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 the air combo launcher or the sweep, you have to call it the Cheeto Dust, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, nice tech. Nice tech. That's something Safi didn't do at all, so Cheeto was paying attention to it. Tried to go for an early jump slash. Looked like he was predicting that uh, Daze was going to go up in the air as well, but did not happen. Yeah, unfortunately, right there for Chucky. Ooh, now we get the knockdown. Start the Leo game, bro. Put her in the den. Yes, Lagerbomb. Oh, because he needed it. Yeah, I want to see another Lagerbomb. Ooh, he back the back stance canceled and then went into a jump trying to chase down the air escape, but didn't actually have it. Ooh, and just coming in there with a the dashing 5k. Gonna get the wall splat. So kill. Lighting up 1 1 here in round. Yeah, already doing a good stuff, a way to uh, not just crumble to the overwhelming pressure of days in this Giovanna, but right now back-to-back -back throws already. That hurts, man. Three throws in a row already lost more than 50% of your life. Commits yep. to the flash kick, trying to bait out the burst, not going to give it to her just yet. Really late and good stuff because it puts her in the corner. Yeah. Nice block on the six feet, but there we go. Time for Leo to get started. Nice block on the overhead. Yeah, but just immediate backdash afterwards from Hayes, right? Trying to get out of that scenario where he's going to have to guess again. Ooh. Yeah, that's a Geo's turn right there, but respecting the fact that he could cancel it into like a flash kick or something. So not why to actually press buttons on that jump D. Ooh, got him. Counter hit. Uh, and OTG try to set something else. Nice catch and the side switch as well into the corner, but a good escape. Trying to go for the... Oh my god! Opportunity there, but it's always scary to go and attack that counter from the back turn. Pants, look at this from the front. Or I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm sure Days was trying to block that cross up. That was ridiculous, right there from uh Chetu. Like the fact that he like took him out of the corner to like do a little setup to try to get that last piece of bar. It was blocked, and then he did like the two age super late berserker slash cancel to actually catch him pressing buttons. That was. Oh, that was clutch. Okay, so now looks like Cheeto putting one on the board here, but can't count days out. We've seen the kind of stuff that he's able to do here. So, uh oh, but not a good start. Just a 5K coming in here, and now you are Ooh. in the mix. Oh, base out the burst. Damn, and then just the headbutt. My goodness. We're perfect here. Uh oh, here we go. Time to go in. Yeah, goes for the throw instead. Yeah, sets up the safe jump. I like the decision of the YRC, but I even like the anti YRC better, but then the back dash. Yeah, super smart right there, right? After a uh, YRC, a lot of the time, the players will make you guess between like a normal or like a dash up throw. So that time, Chet 2 just uh, sniffing out the fact that Days wanted a bit more of a reward from a YRC than usual. All right, get the knockdown, OTG. Oh, it's the Liger Bomb. Caught her blocking. So much damage, and then just coming in. It's interesting. I, I really feel like che Cheeto has just been doing so much damage just by dashing in with that 5K <laughs> and actually out dash 5K Giovanna, which is crazy. Damn, I requested a visit to the Lions then, and that shit was fulfilled. But Days could not get anything started. That was really good stuff from Chet too. All right, so we're tied now here at this point. 17 to 17 for each side. East Coast still has Super Noon, Sonic Fox, K7, Show Off. Uh, I promised him I would not call him show enough by accident uh, on stream. Uh, Tempest, SQ, Orion, and Timo here ready to go. I <laughs> just see all the chat in my man. Imagine, imagine if Leo didn't have trouble opening people up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that, but you, as you mentioned, that is three up on both sides, three lives down. We'll see how they respond. Of course, they got their own Leo, as you mentioned, with K7. Of course, we've seen Sonic play the character plenty as well. I believe we were informed that Sonic is planning to play Jacko today, though. Dude, that's such a Sonic Fox character. Mm -hmm. I mean, because, like, you know, we've seen what Sonic Fox is able to do with, you know, Joker when Joker was low tier, but obviously Joker is definitely strong in 11. 
Uh, but yeah. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, Leo's mix up was pretty weak before the patch. Haha. <laughs> ha. Dude, yeah, frame clearly, clearly he needed to be able to cancel that kick into dashing so that he can open people up. <laughs> this guy, Barry. Barry, I need you to go sip on some tea and crumpets and calm the hell down, bro, okay? Like, what's, what's going on over there? I don't know what's going on in England. I got y'all hyped up like this. Oh, my goodness. So he's just in the chat like, come on. He's talking, just... in the, <laughs> talking in the all caps, dude. Talking in the all caps right now. Mesfil, he's been hanging out with Ultimate Warrior and the 80s wrestlers, it sounded like, bro. Like, what's going on over there? <laughs> but yeah, man, it's uh, tied up early on. Three lives down for both sides, of course. We're gonna see. We still got a bunch of heavy hitter, heavy hitters that haven't even gone up to the plate yet, though. Like we said, Sonic, Kizzy, Reynolds, K7, Tempest, Apology Man, Fu, SQ. Like all these players still haven't even shown their face yet. So. It is going to be a wild ride once they get into the mix. On top of that, we're gonna have to see some major step ups from some of the players, or just have major clutch out victories from some of these people that we expect to carry their respective sides. All right, so we're waiting for the next match, but while we do that, we got quick quick ad break. The sponsor, just like previous events, Hitbox. Hitboxarcade.com says Levo or Levo, depending on your preferred pronunciation. I don't think there's an official one, but uh, yeah, check them out. I, I think most of you guys know what Hitbox is, but if you don't, it's the it, it's one of the best controllers out there right now. And if you're used to playing on keyboard, if you want to make the move from pad, like maybe you use a D-pad, I would really recommend checking them out. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway as well after the end of this. And to enter, you need to write Big Levo in chat like this. I will I will show you. Get your, salt, get your hands on a hitbox. Again, if it's one of those things that you want to try practicing to see how you would enjoy it, I've always mm -hmm. said one of the best ways to do that is just to play on the keyboard you know assign the buttons where you need them to be and then just make sure that a uh, jump is assigned to the space bar yep, yep you can press it with both thumbs that way and then you can just kind of practice to see how it feels you can get used to it and then that way uh you can see the advantages as well all right we got tempest going up Oop. This is interesting because I know Tempest said that Leo was not a matchup of his like. But we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, Tempest looks like coming up here. Mm -hmm. Gonna bring the Charlotta into. Oh, wait, wrong game. Uh gonna bring the may here <laughs> yeah thank god thank god there's no charlotte holy smokes <laughs> Dual one. all right may versus uh, so this is tempest oh boy okay wow already though a clean whiff punish we're trying to put out the but a wake up throw interesting here we go command throw a little less damage but still gonna get your combos in the corner here the big combos what oh. That 5st yeah. And the 2P, actually. Oh, jeez. Oh, Look at this damage. Gold burst out from Tempest, though. You can see already utilizing 100% of that tension to try to keep his turn. It ended up into a slide, so... It's all right, though. Looks like he's still going to take the W for now. No whiff punish on that 2H, unfortunate. This play gets in with the running 2K. All right. Red Roman cancel to get the toss up back to back Ooh! and then the overhead. He should be able to steal this round, but it's Leo. Can he really ever steal a round? Or should I say, are all rounds from him always stolen? <laughs> exactly, right? Ooh, has he ever actually earned a hit a day in his life? I would not. <laughs> oh, no, the live is on the kid. Command Throw City Tempest has his verse available. Gotta think about using it here. Gets blocked and punished anyway. Chet 2 
continuing some monstrous offense. Ugh. All right. One game now. Again, uh, Chetu from the uh, from Mexico. Mexico. The other player besides Matt, Mike Saftig, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. Don't want to say that wrong. Yes, that is right. So those are the two uh, players from Mexico. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, as you mentioned, Timo from Canada going to be representing the East Coast. We haven't seen yet either. The man Tempest, whew. He's kind of got molly whopped in that first game. We'll see if he's able to bounce back here. Show us the May that we all know and hate. <laughs> so I'm not knowing love. Me, that's why I'm sure. How could you assume that people actually hate Well, I'm just <laughs> speaking for myself, I guess. Right? <laughs> no, you're speaking for me too. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> hate by these characters. Oh. Ooh, and then the jump one just to keep it locked down in the corner there. Oh, we actually canceled out of the guard point stance. It looked like he went into it for half a second. Oh, just outside of the Totsugeki range. I thought he was going to be something big happen there, but I haven't found any significant hits yet. Ooh. Wow, I actually caught him with the that time. Yeah. Oh, the Liger oh. Ball! See the punish too. I'm not sure exactly what tip is committed to there, but still it is getting clipped. Nice block on the cross up at the last second RC as well. Not like Chetu could kill it off of that RC though. Instead of going for that mix up reset, that was really kind of an interesting choice there. But again, I'm not 100% familiar with Leo's combo routes. He's doing good, bro. He is just chasing down with the 5k as well. Bang, counter hitting his trades in the neutral against May. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want that one though. Actually, just taking the knockdown off of that. He wakes up with a flash kick. No fear, Chetu's heart. Back turn S. That is a wall if you've ever seen one. Still risking it though. So it's getting making its way in. Burst up real quick. Ooh, oh, the counter hit, but an unconnected combo. But there we go. That's going to combo into the slide, but a wake up throw. Oh, he still got the combo even after waiting for the burst like that. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Nice. This stuff from uh, Tempest though, recognizing that he was really heavily committing to back turn mix ups and just waking up with the Totsugeki, obviously. Leo cannot block in back turn. Can probably oh. carry and a big bump on that 5H. We see it in use there. Well, I guess it's just a buff to the recovery, so it just lets May kind of throw it out a little bit more than she would before. Mm -hmm. saw the 5 I mean, the back turn kick cancel into the dash. Definitely glad they gave that to Leo, otherwise, he would have had trouble mixing you up from the back turn stance. Yeah, that's uh, no longer an issue anymore. <laughs> oh, what? 2D being the Dolphin from long distance, but a great throw from Tempest right there, not letting the Berserker Slash games go down. Oh, counter hit. Yeah, I had to burst and just got it back. Oh, what? That jumping H just said goodbye to the flash kick. Tempest tying it up one to one. You know, I was describing Jump Heavy Slash recently, and I said it deletes the opponent's options. There's a, there's a lot of time where you think you could do something, and it just gets uh, gone from the screen, and you're like, why? It's because Jump H is there. It's Jump H's territory. Yeah, good stuff from Teb is not like uh, falling victim to all the momentum that Chetu was bringing up, right? Like, Leo is a very easy character to let run away with the game with. Oh, again, yeah, utilizing that 2K, utilizing the 2D has done a great job being at those Totsugekis. And then the big 6H counter hit, throw on top of that Chetu with a big start to this round. New lockdown, double the overhead, that's still plus frames. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Again, the 2K this time catching the back dash. Wow. Okay. There we go. So now, uh, Cheto here with match point. Oh, he couldn't punish it yet because you get hit out of the air. You have all that delay when you land. And so, oh, that's what I'm talking know. about. Yeah, finally recognizing that Tempest had really been prioritizing hitting him as quickly as possible once he saw the back turn. So, bringing out the parry is how you counter that. Ooh, but yeah, not respecting the Totsugeki games. Ah, oh, I like that YRC just to not get involved in the BRC mix up there. Good decision. Yeah, yeah very smart. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, not in time to punish. Ooh, and then just threw against the match of because of that blind at the last second, but still the plus frames there after the back turn cancel. 
RC oh, to go sorry. through at check two. Putting another W on the board, defeating Tempest NYC. That's impressive stuff, man. You gotta imagine a lot of people favor Tempest in that matchup. Chet 2 being from Mexico. I'm not too familiar with this player either. Tempest has been a consummate top eight performer time and time again. So yeah, man, great stuff. And keeping West Coast in the lead for now. All right, interesting here. So what do we go to at this point? Again, Super Noon, Sonic Fox, maybe send in show off to get the, the mirror and just so we can oh, have God. the absolute highest level of Gorilla. Uh, <laughs> yeah. S2, uh, Orion and Timo are all available to jump in here still. Again, uh, I believe the ruling is that they could probably just throw in whoever they want with the two yeah. lives. So obviously everybody who's already lost still has a life. They can jump back in anytime they want. Uh, but let's see what their decision is on what they plan to do now. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm very interested in seeing it myself. I am like thinking Sonic. Just because like Sonic will know Leo pretty well and will bring Jacko. So it's like, I think that could be like, you know, I know the character and you probably don't know the character type thing, but you know, K7, oh, it seems that like K7 is coming. They are going to bring the oh. Leo here. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here we go. All right, bro. K7 it is, we're going to the lions then. See who the king of the jungle really is today. That's what I'm talking about, bro. K7 is that type. He wants to show he's the alpha. Let me see. Let me see. So it'll be interesting, of course. I mean, whoever knocks down who first, obviously. But I, I like seeing how the Leo players respect each other's ability to flash kick. We'll see if we see any 2D into flash kick nonsense. The tasty Steve. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, K7, what he just win? He just won like TSB or something. He won a, a couple of offline tournaments recently. So he has been really showing out in Strive, both online and offline. I know he just yeah. won um, Summer Jam as well. So I love the, I'm like, there's the reason why I love the avatars in this game is because you can learn so much. Look at Show Off's avatar. It's just Leo. He respects Leo. Then you look at, uh, at Cheto's uh, avatar got a horse head with a toy hammer <laughs> you got one with the respect for what leo is the other one is like yeah let's go oh my god i don't even want to commentate the rest of this match um, <laughs> oh using the s fireball but the h fireball was already out far enough away to absorb it oh Cheto My goodness, two first the, base in that combo. Cheto still using the Cheeto dust hair. Mm -hmm. K7 going with the denim Leo. The Canadian tuxedo. The Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's a classic. Ace uh, Fireball up on both sides as well. Gonna dissipate each other. Oh, then the S Fireball, yo. <laughs> so they're both Leo players in that big jump H, man. It really disrupts people. Uh, it's just a, because of the range on it and how much hit stun it has, like it's a, a very potent option for Leo in the air. Here we go, another with flash kick. Gonna be big damage now all the way to the corner. And now you've got the mix up, got caught on the low into the super. And with the long flash kick, back to the center of the screen, but with huge frame advantage, you have on that knockdown. Nice throw. Mm -hmm. Oh, the great equalizer. Back to knockdown. No matter who you are, Ooh, actually trying to bait out a flash kick right there. I'm not gonna give it to him. Great recognition from K7. Oh, I thought he was gonna try to bait that out. The fireball still hit him, even though they were clashing. It still had a hitbox, and he accidentally ran into the clashing fireball. The guy is. All right, interrupt for now. Going to the back turn. And K7, yeah, he didn't have ooh charge for a second there because he was forward dashing, but nice again with the slash. Oh, oh boy. scramble with the parry, one of the classic Leo strategies. Man, he is really trying to, yeah, utilize his back turn from long distance, but it's tough to do so against the projectiles. Throws his own bro. Oh, yeah, that is obviously a great option, but the other Leo reads it, they can obviously counter it, but not gonna happen here. Look at this, Showa starting to make the comeback here. Has the slightly 
life lead only by a little bit. Oh, he's gonna get, get the back throw. Wall bounce here. Oh, but he's not gonna be able to burst this. That should kill, yeah. Dude, he got the burst on the hit that he wall splatted. That's just like yeah. a taunt. <laughs> that feels so bad. You're like, come on, let me build my burst. And you finally do it in the exact moment you can't burst anymore. Yep. You're just like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Feels bad. All right. K7 show off here. Trying to put an end to this streak here uh, that's, that Cheto is on. Yeah, and he's uh, doing a good job, right? I mean, K7, he's got to be one of the ringers for the East Coast squad. You know, I still think this is the best Leo in the world, in my opinion. So, mm. High praise right there. Mm. Sorry, the good back dash. Oh, and the back turn slash. Wow. The fact that he just went with Jump B right there. Super smart. Good block on the overhead. Here we go, taking his turn. Yeah, so YRC, so I can get my turn. Look at that, the double load. Where one AC goes 2K to 6K, and then immediately by another one. Wall splat. Yeah, this is really good stuff from Chetu. And then again, just beating him to the punch. And then the dash of dust. You saw my man K7 was reaching right there, looking for the wrong option on that deep button, though. <laughs> <sighs> What are you gonna say, baby? Oh. <laughs> 2K, 5, 6K starts here. Oh no! With that flash kick, get the juggle here. Into the super, he's gonna spend the meter now just to get the wall splat. Get this huge life lead. Flash kicks again. Not scared, even though it got punished last time. Look at this. Goes low. Again with the low. Overhead this time. Tries to shimmy. Tries to play out a flash kick, it looks like. With no life left. Oh, anything you can do, I can do better. Finishes it off with the quick dust again. Mm -hmm. That's set point for K7 now. Oh, you can see they both backed up into the micro dash 5K. K7 <laughs> was just a frame faster. Oh, he actually got the goal burst off. This is huge for Chetty. Big 6P as well, RC to switch sides. Oh, we try to juggle with that. Ends up baiting out the flashing anyway, and no, yeah, burst for RC to make that safe. Big throw, and of course the quick RC doesn't want that proration. Actually, a rare drop from K7 on that wall bounce combo. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He tried to reflect the fireball with the counter. Oh, he's gonna get the hit. Now I think that was a cross-up dive kick, essentially. All right. Has a life lead, but not significant right here. Oh my oh, god! The... Oh, he still got the throw! What? Recognizing, yeah, those hitboxes and like the interaction on the projectile is so weird. And then the jump D to beat out the preemptive 6P. Chetu's staying alive. This is <laughs> a, was... definitely the uh, the jungle, and no lions are sleeping tonight. They're awake and <laughs> swinging at each other, bro. Like, <laughs> oh man. You know, yeah, that that little uh, that special move in the air for Leo, Leo, the, the classic delay your jump arc to beat the anti air strategy, and it worked out for him. So now one one apiece for this uh, fight for the alpha of the pride, I guess you could say. Which which uh, Leo is gonna be king here? Oh, and all H had two off to a good start. K7 doesn't want to surrender that momentum, right? And the fact that he had him quartered for a second, but a big counter hit. He's the one quarter just like that. OTG, oh, try to catch a presence in the afterwards. PRC to cover the whiff immediately. Yeah, Simba versus Scar, exactly. Oh, the, nice insta block, and now we got a direct counter for the burst. Doesn't want to give him the momentum. Oh, guard point for long distance. Here in the corner now, again, YRC and using that opportunity to dash forward, get the throw. Wow, K7 tried to chase down Cheto, but Cheto had actually backdashed as well. Got out that. of range and was able to get the hit. Ooh, yeah, and flashing it out, wants to stop those Berserker Slash games. This time, Cheto not challenging with his own, ended up getting clipped, but we got to throw on his Berserker Slash. Oh, he tried for a really, like, cancels it a parry. Didn't want to swing into it, K7, you can see. He knows Leo so well, respecting all the options. Oh, big tech throw. And then the counter hit on the 2D, put that away. Damage! Ow! 
Almost 100 tension from Chetu, though. Definitely, yeah, I can make something happen here. He didn't actually get the drift that he wanted. That's unfortunate. Fireball staying the screen away so he doesn't have to. Trying to reach through. Gonna get hit instead. Ooh, that was a far throw. He thought show, show off was coming forward. Oh, he actually got the charge just on the back dash. He's gonna die. There's no most available. Chet who takes down K7 in the mirror. I can't believe he clipped him. That is so unfortunate, but you know what? Honestly, it was a really smart choice by Chet though right there because he knew that that combo would kill. And so he's Ooh. like, you know what? I'm gonna go for the game win right here. If I connect this one move, he doesn't have the burst, I should win it. So that decision by Cheto was actually a really nice uh, decision. And there he goes, he's gonna win the mirror match show off losing one life. Wow, Cheto continues to put the West Coast on his back. Marshawn Lynch status here, taking down oh. heart after heart. Sorry, my mistake. It wasn't even a toy hammer. It's a stop sign that he's holding. This horse oh. head stop sign with this crazy jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Let him know, bro. This is where the W stop. That's why he's got the sign in his hands right here. <laughs> Only L's once you cross this path. Man, that, that was wild. That was definitely a really sick set. Good stuff from Chet, uh, too, man. I got to do my research on this fellow. I don't know what tournaments he usually enters, but I was like, oh, what he qualified through? Actually, let me check. It might have been through TCS or Big Levo. I will check right now, though. It looks like he qualified at TCS, so through the Cloud Series. So he might be uh, a regular participant over on Cloud 805 stream. That's really cool. Damn. I was about to say, yeah, I haven't heard of him at all, but he he's doing some crazy Leo shit like, that I've never mm -hmm. seen before. Looking real clean. By the way, guys, we have a match arena. We still got a bunch of codes left. Go claim them. Oh, dang. How many codes do we have left here? Uh, let me see. We got 54 codes. Go get them, chat room. Half of them are Come on, dude. We got 4,500 people here in this chat. 54 is nothing. Let's go. Let's get Take this in here, guys. 10 seconds to do. And of course, if you want to donate some pot to the pot, uh, there's 80% you know, goes to the pot, to the winners here, and then 20% to the TOs that run it. Uh, all right, we're, the Colts are flying. We got 30 more. Yep. 30 I'm more. I'm going to come in here and do some work here. Log in, Google, click my name, click claim code. Bam, there we go. Look at this. This mount is just fly. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, there one. There we go. Zero. Thank you so much. Everybody. Thank you guys. <laughs> Dude, well done. Well done. Yeah, that was like the fastest viewers. I've seen the codes go. <laughs> I didn't even need to come in and help, man. That, that was just, that was free. <laughs> but yeah, if you want yeah, to support the event uh, for putting this together, please consider donating dropping a five or something to the TOs. uh and yeah we're, we're gonna get started super noon is coming on up <laughs> Listen, west coast best coast y'all be hurricaning we dry that's a that's a low blows bro that's way too <laughs> soon you can't be saying shit like that we're you're gonna bring an earthquake upon us with some shit like that that's how car that's how karma works dude oh man yeah we're going to get a big-ass earthquake now, all because of your comments <laughs> with chat. Thanks, bro. So instead of reflecting on themselves, <laughs> oh, man. The I still so dry, y'all catch on fire? That's facts. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember the West Coast Warzone tournament where there was a big earthquake and you could tell who was from East Coast and who was from <laughs> yeah. West Coast? Because, like, the East Coast players were just, like, running, like, oh, what is happening? And, like, all the West Coast players were like, wait, there's an earthquake? <laughs> yeah, earthquakes to us, that's like a rock of my us to sleep unless it's like 6.0 <laughs> or above bro we just right. take it as you know, some nice vibrations oh, but yeah we got the trader up we got super noon representing east coast of course originally from southern california but has since been roommate number three for about a year or some change now i think <laughs> roommate number three <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, just outside of range, which means that's going to give Cheto some chance for some offense. Too far away for that. Damn, why 
does that work? So oh, much? it's active forever. The super, the super's gonna do it, I think. Yeah, definitely with the wall break damage, more than enough to put that ram. Another comeback from Chethu right here. Holy uh, smokes. And the low guts on the ram fall as well. Oh, yeah, and a great tech throw right there. That's, that's a good point, definitely. Like, Randall Thoth could definitely melt in certain situations. Finally gets her other sword back. Immediately throws out the eight sword. And here we go. Now the pressure in the corner. Picks up the sword and... Oh, but just finds the gap. Explosion actually keeps uh, <laughs> yeah. from keeping any pressure, though. That's definitely unfortunate. So I think a lot of the time you do see uh, Leo try to like find that gap with the Berserker Slash from the swords there just to get out of range of it. We've already seen with the Berserker Slash now, and actually the, him doing the Berserker Slash again made it so he got bursted back mid-screen rather than in the corner. That was kind of great. Oh, the Zippy Clash! Not like this, bro. Super nuke. Gross. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, there we go. I know you're West Coast, but you're Mexico, not California, fam. That was <laughs> unnecessary. Yeah, he was really going for that hero burst right there, so he should probably be able to do well because he missed with it, so it's going to be a full empty bar, depending on if uh, Super Nuke can get a lot of damage, then he won't be able to build that burst back at all. Yeah, look how slow it's going. But he might not need it, because look at the life lead that he has. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, and he finds the jump out, but a great job from Super Nuke right there, chasing the air escape attempt. Ooh, my He's goodness, <laughs> the heavy slashes. <laughs> oh, and then yeah, the stand slashes. My man is pressing these gigantic normals. So when, like when you see the guy like lean back and avoid the sword in slow motion in movies, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what ended up happening there after the RC. Super Nintendo getting thrown. Why RC in the air? That was strange. I always forget you can Y R C in the air. <laughs> yeah, it leads to some awkward situations. Uh oh, that should be dead. At well, oh no, it, but mid screen, mid screen. Yeah. Because of that, he's living for now, but not living through another counter hit slash. You can only eat so many before your life is forfeit. And this stuff from Super Noon right there, going up 1 0 in the set. That's the power of Ramifall right there. That far slash, that far H. So good at controlling the neutral. Well, we, we saw three heavy slashes in a row, then three slashes in a row. My man was just like, <laughs> come on, swing into me, brother. Swing into me. Yeah, and that's always one of the things, too, because, you know, those buttons are some of the most disjointed, right? I mean, she just basically has no hurt box on the tip of those swords. And so it's just, it's, it's terrifying. Mm, yeah, exactly. Definitely a uh, tough, uh, just normals in general to contest. That's why you saw the 6P come out from Chetu. Maybe we see that a little bit more. Especially if he's going to be ready after the clashes. Oh, yes, the block. oh, he ended up getting clipped by the Daru. Nice flash kicking through the block string here. And yeah, I like that from Super Noon. Doesn't want to play that Leo game. He's going to be able to buy himself some time for that sword to come back as well. Oh, oh wow. yeah. He was just like baiting that because he wasn't doing much at all for the longest of time. Oh, that was a super smart RC, but I guess he didn't realize that he was going to get the red RC on the guard point interaction, so he just tried to commit to a throw after. Keep from getting the pressure. I haven't seen Super Moon try to uh, check that escape that often. With all his faultless defense in, oh. but that just means he's not building any meter at all. All oh, great stuff right there. Uh, Chetu recognizing that it whiffs, so he just cancels into the parry as he tried to whiff punish. Very, very smart. But, I mean, it's kind of that same philosophy why block when you can DP, right? So if you're Leo, you're like, well, if I whiff and he's going to try to hit me, I might as well try to counter in time, right? Yeah, now he is cornered up, though. This is where Ram thrives. He will put that on top of her. Yeah, takes the jump out from that range. Didn't really want to test it. He would do a stand slash thing like that. Ooh, 6P in the neutral. Once again, we talked about that as a tool that he could look towards. Oh, he gets the cross up here, trying to bait out an ult from Ram. Not going to happen. Oh my goodness, PRC is the first one and then just stuffs the parry with the second. Like, I feel like he was actually just outside of the rain, uh, range of that parry. 
Otherwise, yeah. it would have connected. Yeah. He had the right read, but unfortunately did not work out. Missed. Oh. Uh oh, big damage here in the corner. Gonna get the splash. He's gonna spend the super on this. Yep. Hey, I know you got a guess for the game, fam. Plus frames, positive bonus coming through. This goes with a safe jump. Try for it. Why jump D into a canceled flash kick? Yeah, All right, try to get a little froggy with that in there. Yeah, oh no! Position. I super knew to throw him into the corner as opposed to taking the big damage off the flash kick. I mean, it's been working so far. Good defense from Super New. I mean, you got to imagine he plays this match all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, you would think so. But, oh, oh. unfortunately, the experience, not enough to seal that game. It is one up, though. Super Noon took the first one. I mean, here's the tricky thing, right? I mean, obviously, you're playing against Sonic Fox's Leo all the time. But they may not play Leo the same way that Cheto does. And so you might end up with kind of a different style that, that like, wait, what? Why would he do that there? You know? <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely wild stuff from both sides. But Chetu, yeah, he's done a, done a good job really contesting in certain areas, right? We've seen him cover his whiffs with a parry when he's able to uh, contesting with 6P, both on the ground and in the air in very clutch moments. So he's uh, definitely bringing out these answers that you need to in this matchup. Oh wow, the 2D right after that, catching whatever Sumino was trying to do afterwards, after that first whip. Oh, oh yeah, gets the burst out right away. Yeah, eating Ooh, that explosion burst. though, that, that is rough. That was definitely a situation where he was trying to make his way out and he just got a little bit sloppy. <laughs> That's optimal right there, making sure that you're plus when you land uh, by doing multiple punches like that in the air. Pressure, this is the pressure. This is what Ramothal does. Because every time she dashes up, she picks up that sword again. So she can dash up, keep the pressure, and pick up a sword again. But again, finding that gap to get the flash kick with, with the trade with the explosion, though. Oh, interesting. Super new, still going to have the pressure. Okay, it worked. It didn't work a second time to try it. I'll address that at this map. Ramothal still trying to clutch it out here in this last moment. Fire C, and he gets the side switch. Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh -oh. Okay, so Super Moon does have Super Meter here. Are we going to get it? Does it do it? I don't know if he tried. Might have been. Got counter here with whatever he tried to wake up with. And now we're even in life. So oh, oh, again. The deletion. He had the RC to make it save, so. From downtown. It's good. You got to respect it, my man. got to respect it. Ooh, just straight up bash out of the exposure radius that time, but still locked in his corner. Escape will not be that easy. So he's going to play it nice and safe too. Yeah, keeping it a compact with the pressure after the swords. Oh, until then, charge dust. He's got the burst available as well. I like Noon just committing to the combo right there, forcing him to burst out. Right now, Cheto's got to do something massive to be able to take this, and that's going to end it right there. Almost a guaranteed wall splat and break. Doesn't even need it. And there you go, Super Noon ending the streak finally here and getting one onto the board for East Coast again. That goddamn treacherous son of a... No, I'm sorry. Good stuff, Super Noon. Good stuff, man. <laughs> nice job ending the West Coast momentum for a second there. Yeah, Noon is EC now. Indeed. New York's Just own... Five burrows his own super new, and that shit don't sound right, bro. That don't make no sense. Get this man back to the West Coast. I'm just playing, bro. I actually want to go out to New York. So I've never been, so I want to go out and visit Young Noonster and just in general uh, check out New York yeah. here soon. I'll tell you, I'll tell you honestly, like, you know, as a as an LA boy visiting New York, I, I really enjoyed it. There's just, it's just, it's. New York is really cool. I, I really like that place. I've always told myself if there was another place in the States that I would live, it probably would be New York. Unfortunately, the housing prices are just as bad over there as they are here, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, the, yeah, when it comes to, if you're trying to uh, move for financial sakes, uh, it's definitely not the move to make. Nope. <laughs> New York to California. Uh, not gonna be yeah. paying too much of a difference, I believe, but you know. This is, especially if you're going like San Francisco to New York, then you, you really got no chance. Yeah. But definitely, I want to check it out soon. I've been to Texas, 
I've been to I've been to a lot of places in the U.S., but I have not been to New York just yet. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the only times I've been there have. Some, most of the times I've been to New York have just been like for my own purposes, just taking a trip there while I'm kind of in the area. But, yeah. you know, for the fighting game community, we don't go there a lot because venue fees out yeah. there are ridiculous. <laughs> so, I mean, shout outs to the guys who run Defend the North, right? You know, yeah, uh, sure. Andy and such like that, because they are paying out the bank to run those events out in New York. It is expensive. And so we don't get a lot of tournaments out in New York. I mean, even when Evo East was supposed to be quote New York, it was in Stamford, Connecticut, you know, which you was, know? <laughs> I mean, I visit, like I said, I visited New York while I was in Connecticut, you know, but yeah, exactly. yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's rough, man. Cause you could do, you could do that in the East Coast. You can like take trips from state to state. You can't do that shit out here. Like the, the closest thing we could do is Vegas. It's like four hours yeah. away. I mean, I tell the story on stream all the time, but like there was someone in East Coast back on like the Alt Games SF2 days, and they're like, "Man, John Choi and Vi are so lucky. They're so good because they get to play each other every day because they both live in California." And it was like, <laughs> uh... <laughs> like if only you knew yeah <laughs> you poor yeah. child totally down to drive six hours <laughs> yeah exactly that shit uh, it always cracks me up but anyway oh, yeah i always said i picture it but i always make fun of east coast i was like yeah but like everything on the east coast is 20 minutes away so it's like it's like all of la is just east coast but anyway we got roommate number three super noon going up against reynolds obviously these guys have uh, quite the storied history both uh Dragon Ball players training with each other yeah. a lot during that game's lifespan while Super Noon was out here on the West Coast. We'll see though. I don't know how much they played in this game. Uh, Randall, unfortunately, not putting in the most recent ICFC and getting uh, falling out of the top eight, but uh, has a chance to do some work here for the West Coast. But you see Super Noon checking him in the corner with that five, yeah, that 5K, locking him down. Oh, oh. yeah, but then bringing the ball with the Super, that's plus frames, you gotta guess. It goes with a close ass and dragging him all the way to the corner, actually committing to the wreck of sequence. But that is actually pretty popular for Rams to do after they get a positive bonus because it builds so much meter. Even if they start that sequence without the RC, usually they build towards it. Oh, yeah, air dash past the 2S. And so that gets the side switch and the combo set up here in the corner. Continues the pressure. Reynolds having trouble finding his way out. Gotta watch out for the dust, yeah. Every time you see that sword in the PRC, you gotta watch out for that dust to combo into the explosion. I yeah. love that burst to keep himself in the corner. And I love Super Noon just making sure he bursted in the corner to keep Reynolds locked up right there, throwing him as he dashed outside of the explosion radius. That was so smart. Okay, here's an opportunity now for Reno. He tries to go for a shim. He doesn't fall for it, but this RC is going to give him an extension here. It's going to be good damage. Oh my god, it didn't quite kill. Yeah, not just yet. Ooh, crouch S as well. Has to use all that meter on the faultless defense to make sure right. that he doesn't get chipped to death, but then the 5P from downtown. Oh, and then kidding a uh, far S. That was a uh, strange. I thought the uh, jump age would have done something, but instead, Reynolds again finds himself bullied in the corner. No burst available just yet, but a great anti air. Holy smokes. Dude, that was from. That was a read right there. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, boom. With the setup afterwards. Oh, canceling into the one vision as well. Don't commit to anything. He'll cancel. You know he will, and he does. It needs to, la it needs to last longer, dude. It runs out too fast, I think. Nah, bro, it got close. Oh. I'm not sorry for Axel anymore. Okay, you can do a ton of damage. Yeah, so got a burst. Didn't try to bait it out. It looks like just went for the straight up dust combo. Oh, that was such good timing from Super Noon right there. He must have threw him like on one of the first or second frames. He was actually throwable right there. Really good yeah. timing. So nicely done. Super Noon taking game number one. Of course, if you are from the West Coast, it, West Coast. Uh, definitely the 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 traitor super noon <laughs> it's my man's right there god damn benedict arnold <laughs> nah super noon will always be cool for me dude yeah no, no super noon is legitimately like somebody i consider like a little brother so you know I, that's why i give him a hard time in the first place 
you, you hurt the ones you love, man. That's that's the, <laughs> yeah. that's the rule. Duel no. one. So big up says noon is taking a first game as well. We'll see if Reno can bounce back. It's really interesting. We've had I think nothing but streaks so far. We'll have to take a look at the the chart that left is. But dude, that was nice that he got that confirmed out of the air with the kick. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he tried to avoid the race, which he did. My goodness, he got Iceberg Slim for that though. Bunch of him slaps, and then the super. Ah, look, there is no guts on Axel. There are like his guts. I think he has a one guts rating, which is the lowest that's possible. So yeah, he's he's gonna be eating damage at the end. Man, Axel getting tripped up now in the corner once again, and the bully. Can he find his way out of here? Doesn't, and he doesn't have a burst, doesn't have meter for a YRC. Just got to hold that the entire way. Super Noon here, one sliver away from taking this. Yeah, I mean, Reynolds gonna, uh, yeah. I mean, we the only miracles that are happening are in AEW, bro. So unless your signs are there, <laughs> I don't think you're actually gonna pull this one out, you know? Reynolds an EVO champion for a reason. Oh, okay, there <laughs> I just commentators cursed him. Sorry, Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff to Super Noon right there. And yeah, I mean, that was definitely uh, an L that West Coast really, I think that was too easy of a W for East Coast right there because we're the ones that just lost. Like, So we <laughs> could have had a better, I think, a choice in terms of character matchup to go up a little bit. But unfortunately, uh, Reynolds and Axel gets vanquished by the Super Noon Ramlethal. So we'll see who's next. Noon with two streak, like I said, I feel like everybody so far has been going on streaks here. I'm not sure if Leffen will be able to put up that little uh, chart that he had on the left side of the screen. Uh, oh, before. one second. I'll take a look at that. Oh, okay. Cool, he hears us loud and clear. So there hopefully we'll be able to get a chance to take a look at that. Yep, there it is right there. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, see, look at this. No, nothing shorter than two games so far. So two games, three games, three games, two games, which is what is giving us this tie currently. Ooh, Casey mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is it Kizzy that they're setting up? Mm -hmm. Nice. Kizzy K going to be going up against Super Noon. Man, just feels wrong, doesn't it, Ringe, talking about Super Noon like he's the enemy? Ugh. It does. It does feel wrong, you know? It's uh, how this uh, whole fighting game thing goes, you know? Life takes Dang. us in crazy Wish places. Crab. Wish Crab with $150 donation to the Thank you so much, everyone, team. that donated. And then yeah. Onde Onde with the $20, Taco Waveable, $10, Rice Cakes, $5, Steak Impact, $5, Scavdrax, $5, and JGXLDNY, $5 as well. Shout outs to all everybody. Nerf Leo, he says. A lot of people agree with you on that one, trust me. Yo, James, don't ever ask me a question again, B. You just what? asked me a question. I was in the middle of my answer. You just cut me off, bro. No. <laughs> Sorry. Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, no. What the one in the world? <laughs> Had to talk about the donations. Had to talk about no, the donations. No, you don't have to. You can wait till my goddamn sentence is over. All right. Fair enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Oh man, my bad, my bad, my B. Uh, but anyway, so Kizzy K is coming up next. We got the Kai coming up to the plate up against the Ram with all. I'm interested in seeing how Kai really plays out this patch because I like I think the Stun Dipper buff is really good and just in general, like I want to see how the Kai players really put him to use now. See, I'm scared to talk now. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Yeah, damn. Yeah, I think Kai is really interesting now. I think the dragon install buffs were not that big. I mean, like, I, I don't think you'll use them that much, but the stun dipper buff. Yeah. Stun dipper was already a, one of the best specials in the game, and now it's like, it's like a contender for the best, especially with meter. Yeah, we'll see five frames on his first active frame on the low. So, and just the fact that it's so consistent 
promo winning combos now. Oh, it just provides Kai so many more opportunities for offense that he didn't get before. Oh, dang. That 5S reaching so far, actually challenging Randall Falls range. Oh, I love that. Utilizing it to dodge the stun edge. <laughs> Big 6P on the top of Kai. Ooh, and then, yeah, just keeping him at bay with the big far S as well. That's another thing that got buffed. I believe the recovery on far S is a little bit quicker now. So you can see Kizzy has been utilizing it a lot more. Oof. Yeah, too far away for that to combo into oh, anything. What? That was a ridiculous conversion right there. That jump K and he actually got the stun dipper when he landed. Are you serious? That was ridiculous. He's been putting work with his character, but here's now Super Noon into the corner. Here's the pressure. And just gets out of there with a simple jump into a double jump. Noon, Noon used to be West Coast. Not for quite a while now, though. I uh, like for a year. Super? Yes. And now Kai's got to guess for the game here. Safe jump. Waits afterwards to see if how Kai even was trying to test how California was Kizzy right there. You saw that? <laughs> he was like, bro, you got your dickies on today? You put the vans on? One round of peace now. I mean, both of those rounds looking really dominant for each of the players that won the round, so. Gets in here with the fake greets ever. Here we go, big combo in the corner. Mad damage, yeah. Oh, and then cutting off, and you can see again the stun dipper so consistent now. Try to put that tap dust on him for the last bit of damage. Oh, that jump K from Kai is so good because it goes so fast and has such a good hitbox, and then it recovers and he can do anything he wants. So you saw that whiff jump K into the move on the way down. Sort of been one of Kai's best tools since the beginning of time. Yeah, for real. Like, it has definitely just always been something that Kai players utilize to great effectiveness. And you can see Kizzy, pretty much the most effective Kai uh, in North America, at the very least. But, I mean, there's actually a good amount of Kai players. I just don't see them as much as I would like. There's Bass, Infinity, and Stink Boys, and all kinds of good players. So, definitely let me uh, put some respect on the Kais. Of course, Chuara out in Japan as well. Yeah, it's just um, one of those things like... And Kiki in the EU. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's just one of those things, like... He oh, just yeah, Mysterious Stranger, yeah. He, he really wasn't considered particularly strong before the patch, but, you know, you can definitely see a lot of the Kai's empowered by a lot of the little small buffs that he got, but, again, sometimes the small buffs add up to some good stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot Hayate plays Kai, too. That's such a Hayate player, or character, actually. Oof. Oh, the super right in the wall is big for Super Noon here. Alright, gets the throw, not enough to kill. Just needs one more little hit. Yeah, the PRC, yep. Knew that the overhead was coming. Got that block, and here we go. Stun Dipper. Nice throw tech, though. Gonna keep himself alive. The jump the S, brother. The classic instant air backdash jump slash. Such a go to for Ramblefall if you're not sure what to do at the time you know, just to control that neutral. Yeah, but the bag dash being put by the, the close S right there, at least a full combo. Save jump afterwards as well. Because he got to look for some type of moment here. Probably trying to gold burst, but he's being very disciplined about it. Great jump out. Really waiting till he committed to a dash and then back dashing the throw attempt. Yo, that was an incredibly patient defense for Kizzy here, and he actually got the throw on the other side. That was like, wow, I would never have that much patience in my life. Catching the back dash as well. Oh, God. Zig and not going to have the knockdown, obviously. So just back to the neutral. What a whiff punish with the stun dipper. This man, Kizzy, was in his rocket chair reading a book. Like, he's got a real old soul. I don't know how he was so disciplined right there. Like, I would have been swinging for the fences so much. <laughs> Jump, double jump to get away from that sword explosion. Just a juggle there. But now, right back into the corner. Stages are not that wide in this game. Yes. Oh, oh, nice. He gets him with the shock state as well. Shock state over. What the? They were just walking into each other for like a second there. 
Big 6P on that. Yeah, as soon as he recognizes it, of course, he has the meter to do that. Wow. No, he's gonna go the super. I, oh, no, he doesn't. I'm sorry. Look at the long meter. Oh. I am uh, very surprised at the disciplined defensive from Super Noom right there. The fact that he did it actually try to continue his turn after the RC right there. That was impressive. I know. Dash, is... up, dash up block? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Man, try to challenge the plus frames with the super. People are saying it's uh, not the best connection, it seems like, from Kizzy's side, but, you know, it'd be like that. Yeah, it's interesting. Whenever, like, lag gets in your, like, if it is affects you like that, you will end up doing things like wake up super because you're like, well, you know what? I need to win, so let me just do one kind of guest situation, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... Either way, though, looks like Kizzy uh, hopping back onto the station. So it's going to be what is that one up, right? Because he took the first game, right? Did he? Did he Pretty change sure the one. color of his mask? That's what it looked like. To, I don't know. Was I seeing things? <laughs> I didn't see. Uh, he put the clown mask back on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he did. He did. Okay, fair. That's pretty funny. Oh, unfortunate right now. You're gonna go to the clown show in this corner. You want to get out. Using that PRC, try to get it to soft connect for the sword. Can you quite get it? But look Help. at this. Oh, finding just the right moment to get that 2S out there to try to get out of the corner. But here we go. This should be able to take it for oh, Super Noon. Indeed, now Super Noon on set point, just like that. Bounce it back. In that first game deficit. Oh, yeah, we'll cover just in time and not get killed by that unfortunate. Nice challenge, right there. Recognize he wasn't all the way back towards the corner. You have to well, too close people. that time, yeah. Stun Dipper. Not gonna combo from that range. Good vapor thrust. Goes out of the corner. Wow, back dash it. He from Super Noon, though, keeps him in front and gets the anti air. Oh, oh you see staring at each other. That was just a stare down. The 6P is going to connect on his landing and a jump back slash from Super Noon. Oh, I was about to say, should be able to finish it, but not quite yet. Oh, but of course, the Afard S once again, ruling the neutral space in front of Ramlethal, taking away yet another heart, taking away yet another life from West Coast. Super Noon continues his rampage. Look, if Super Noon is going to take out this many people, we're just going to claim him, right? Just be like, exactly. See, we loaned you your MVP. <laughs> yeah, so this is an easy OS for us. Oh, you wouldn't have won unless we guys gave you Super Noon. Keep keep winning, Noonster. <laughs> so I'm talking, the easier the OS, the better. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? So Apology Man, uh, Foo, Reflected, and Red Ditto have not gone up yet. Ooh, okay, so who was it again? You said Foo, Red Ditto, Reflected, and what was the last one? Uh, the last one I said was uh, Apology Man. Apology Man, that's right. Yeah. Interesting. Apology Man. Still rocking the Faust? Is he still rocking the Faust at this point? Yeah, he is definitely still rocking the Faust. He's a Faust player through and through. I don't know who he's in. He might change to like a DLC. I can see him maybe playing Gold Lewis, but I don't know. He's just a Faust player through and through, I think. <laughs> I mean, so, as much as people have, you know, complained about Faust as a character, I feel like, I mean, even Nage has been saying that he thinks Faust is not as weak as people say he is, but that's Nage, of course. Nage is a god, so. <laughs> yeah. Who is, uh, who does Reflected play? Uh, chat, if you don't let me know. Uh, or James, if you know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not so. sure. So we shall see. Where, yeah, speaking of which, where are the Nagori Yukis? All of them are on the bench? You play Soul? Okay, gotcha. Dude, Nagori Yuki's, what, what a strong character, dude. What a strong character. And now all the Yuki's are on the bench today, it seems like. Can Noon be the first one to reach four? And that's the point, he's gotten three now. Three under his belt, looking pretty strong. <laughs> so if the script is, is, is intact here, Super Noon should lose this next one. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh man, Uriel, yeah, we know about your Nagori Yuki Uriel. Second at EU Evo to Lord Left. 
Yeah, and then of course Hotashi taking N A as you see on the screen itself. <laughs> yeah, there's so many. Yeah, it's just the Nagori Yugi's run rampant in N A too. There's, there's a bunch of them. Of course, we got um, man, like fame, of course. But even the ones that enter the tournaments test their luck and like Kugi, I know plays Nagori Yuki a little bit. I know Andy O C R plays Nagori Yuki a little bit. There's just a gang of them, a gang of them placing well going 0 and 2 they just they're all levels definitely one of the strongest characters right now another character largely in the conversation of being like top three or so well my archie players that they still trying to campaign for buffs they they figured out that the ritual sacrifices they did weren't enough so they've gone back to the drawing <laughs> board <laughs> The chickens yeah. weren't enough. They gotta start sacrificing goats. They gotta do Dang. something. Oh man! Look into the old Aztec rituals from beyond. Get on top of the pyramids. Let the blood flow. I mean, it's interesting because it seems like he has so many more options and gains so much strength, but it just it hasn't quite been enough. I mean, we've been seeing some players do damage with Anji, uh, like in Japan, but still. Oh, they sent in food. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh, boy. Which, I mean, I have a lot of faith in Fu. I think this matchup probably sucks, but I mean, I, yeah. I don't play either character, so. Gets the back, though. Here we go. Mix up. Oh, just jumps out with the 6P. And then Garuda. One of the best special moves in the game. Leopard was talking about Stun Dipper, but Garuda's right there, too. Oh, yeah, 100%. You are seeing as well. And Toki in the chat, you know, he said, Fu's brain is celestial. If you've ever played Fu in a game, you know how accurate that statement is. Forward Lego Fist right there to get past it. My goodness, bro. Who's a monster? Got a Kara back Mega Fist right there as well. Uh oh, pressure in the corner now. Bad burst! Gonna be a good punish right here for Super Noon. Yeah, Boo not able to find his way out of the scenario, but at least we go back to neutral and he doesn't have frame advantage here, so kind of okay with that, I think, if you're Boo. Oh no, he tried to challenge that. Maybe, I don't know, what you do in that scenario to try to challenge? I don't know if it's like a. Mega Fist or Flick, because I don't think you can flick the sword, you can just flick the explosion. But Yeah, you can flick the explosion. Unfortunately, it doesn't send a fireball back, which is the weird part. Oh, Garuda. Garuda games in the corner, you're blocking. Nice, still checking the legs. PRC late to keep the advantage. Oh, oh no. Oh no, not even gonna go for the grab, just gonna go for the hit into the wall splat. <laughs> he tried the instant jump here right there. Calling out maybe a big air button from Ram Ball. Oh boy, here we go. Corner pressure time. I like the YRC, but then the burst. Yeah, you're you're almost dead. Might as well use that to keep the pressure going. Because you could definitely win by keeping Fu trapped in the corner now. Gets the throw. Here we go. He's a good clip by that as well. Still in the corner. That was the, the bad part though. Man. He was going to get to the point where he was going to wall splat before we got super. So now we got to go back to the neutral. RC to keep the pressure on there. Trying to keep him honest. We have the quarter again, but he's able to jump out here. He's sitting on the swords as well. Yeah, you were going to get those, my man. <laughs> that, that, was just like a, that was just like a frame trap in between the jump S and the stand S. Not sure what it was that Super Noon tried, but he got himself hit. So Fu mm -hmm. is going to barely take that one. My man just sat on them swords. He was like, yeah, come, come on. Come try to get your weapons, bro. <laughs> so good stuff from Fu going up one, trying to prevent the uh, the four streak from noon. Keep the uh, script intact, you know? Dual one. Let's Keep Kayfabe alive. Mm -hmm. Megafist, and you gotta remember, yeah, the forward Megafist, even on hit, is negative. So that's why you yeah. see uh, Fu just opting to block afterwards. Find his way and trying to use that 6k right there has better recovery but still not the greatest oh boy got reset while on the ground and yeah potential weight right now i think causes super a little problems with the dmds oh yeah and this is 2k afterwards who having a rough time but of course one back mega fist oh my goodness roommate number three did loki chew the ethernet core what happened okay <laughs> Well, we're definitely a little behind in the match right now. Uh, 
Loki shit on the Ethernet cord. He's messing up the connection. Get your dog in order, <laughs> Sonic Fox, all right? Uh oh. Here we go. Big damage coming in there. Oh. Looked like he was trying to bait the burst. Gets the pose out of the air. That He's going to be able to keep the combo going. Not enough to kill, though. Oh, the prayers have been answered. Set Rain point two. for Fu. Garuda. Just 2k in the Kara Garuda. Nice. Oh, we have already back to the corner once again. Oh. Get Loki away from the Ethernet. <laughs> I know cats are the one that usually choose wires, but that dog is young. He's probably teething. <laughs> what? All right. Get him off. Oh, I thought he was going to walk him and throw him again. I think that's what Super Noon expected up? too. Yeah, <laughs> Super Noon is, is, he's just like, no, nah, no. Nah. The god of mischief, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, causing some problems over here. Either that or he's just been ejected. At Loki put in a call to his connects at Spectrum. He said, look, bros, <laughs> I got bets against the Super Noon here in this matchup. Help me blow yeah. up this connection. Doesn't matter what variant it is, it's always going to be mischievous. Mm, okay, so it looks like we have been decent. So Fu is one. Um, McDonald's Wi-Fi, the Spectrum, whatever it was that <laughs> cursed that connection, we've moved on. And uh, yeah, man, man, have you have you you watched all of Loki? It was really good. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Yes, very very really good. good. I was I was talking to a I was talking to a dude one time because he like said something on Twitter about not watching Loki. And I was like, you haven't watched Loki? And he was like, I watch him every day. And I was like, oh, I thought you meant the show. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> that the dog's name is Loki. My bad. Oh man. Yeah, the, the show is really good though. I need to watch the next two episodes of What If or like episode Dude. three or four or whatever. I haven't watched them yet. I, I hadn't caught up to them. I just caught up on them on yesterday. I'm not going to say much, but definitely get through episode I, three and four, dude. Like I, I heard the latest episode is bonkers for sure. Yeah. I mean, this is not really a spoiler. It's the it's like Doctor Strange episode. Benedict yeah, Cumberbatch yeah, is actually doing the voice. And like, dude deserves an Emmy or something like that, dude. Seriously. Wait, did you, like, you said Cumberbatch is doing the voice for this? Yeah, he, uh, he's oh, actually word? doing the voice. Yeah, and he deserves like some sort of Emmy for that episode, dude. He was so good. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a big Benedict Cumberbatch fan. Like um, ever since I saw him in Sherlock, I was I was like, oh, this guy's uh, sick as hell. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm a big yeah. fan. What now, show are you talking the, about, What If? Yeah, What If. Dude, all the dude. have you seen Shang Chi yet? Just out of curiosity. I have. It was so good. Dude, oh man, I, I actually want to see it again. <laughs> Me too. I I probably will. It was so good. But it, it's it's coming out on Disney Plus like in 30 days or something like that, isn't it? Or something I like that. I can't wait, bro. Well, to be fair, I just want to go see it in the movies again because like it's a great visual movie, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it looks like they have sent SQ up. So we're gonna do one ram down, send the other ram up. This is a, a historically <laughs> bad matchup for Potemkin. So they are, they're putting it on the player rather than the character. I mean, who was it you said that was in the chat that says Fu just has a different brain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does, so, uh, Toki. He said oh, Fu yeah, got a yeah, celestial yeah. brain and it, it's very true, man. Is it, I believe this is the, huh? I was gonna say, coming from an Axel player to say that about a Potemkin, you know this guy is definitely causing problems. <laughs> exactly, dude. Like, Fu is just like so good at Potemkin's bad matchups, and you're just like, how does he do it? But he finds his way. Yo, Mike and I, I'm glad to hear it, by the way. And I think this is Sherwin's Ranlethal mod. Shout out to Sherwin, of course. G given all the waifus goth mods. Ooh, nice job using the 5k to keep him locked down in the corner. Well, there we go. Nice tech from Fu. All right, we know the kind of damage that Potemkin can output, especially against a no guts character like Ramathal. Doesn't go for the third hit. Just walks his way in. Nice jump to get away from the slide head. But he's out of there. Dude, oh, that instant oh, block oh. was so clutch. I cannot believe this. He might win off of that. Close mm -hmm. S. He's still staying solid. Oh. Okay, oh yeah, there's the BRC. Oh, tries to fake the air throw. So good defense. Look at the chip. Oh, SQ, she's got an exclamation point above her head. I don't know who won. 
Oh, SQ does get it. The mash oh. out. Trade goes in her favor and takes the first dub. Ooh, nicely done by SQ. Just barely surviving that one. And here we go. The pressure with that close slash. The fact that you can delay cancel into, into Gatling is just it's so threatening in this game. I, I honestly thought because of how much her wrist gauge was cranked before that the trade was going to result in a double KO. So like, uh, I just thought the whole was going to do that much damage. Uh, did you see that clip of the, the, the maze double KOing off of the standing H clashes? Like, I have back not. Back. I need to see oh. that. <gasps> oh no, SQ getting pop bustered. Oh, not like this. Oh, nothing. The slow mm -hmm. walk. Or is he building meter? I think that was the decision. I think he wasn't going to go in there because he might have been wanting to build some meter just by walking forward. But SQ going to take that first game. Yeah, good stuff from SQ. Bouncing back just like that. Going up 1 0 over Foo. <laughs> Perry's cracking it. Swiftly humbling the rookies. Of course, anything but a rookie, you know what I'm saying? But now, Fu, Fu's been around the block for uh, a hot minute now. I first came across Fu during the Exer days, where he uh, originally started with Leo and then switched to Potemkin and then switched to Kum Hyun eventually. Like, yeah. He's taking his talents to a lot of characters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's a super talented guy. He's against a beautiful dude all the time. So those two are definitely in the in the hyperbolic time chamber with each other i think they're roommates right so yes Ooh. indeed roommates best friends all types of uh, friendship going on there big ups on the raid as well so you jam with like the 2400 person raid i see the number just cranking up right now dude it's like someone cast from final fantasy 7 regen on the chat now <laughs> <laughs> No nah, man, Fu has found himself in this corner again with another great instant block right there, allowing him some space to get the back row. Nice escaping the back to back of Udo. Great. Yeah, the, the instant jump punch right there, interrupting the Mega Fist. Huge stuff. Mega Fist did dodge the sword for a second there, but it cannot dodge the corner. It's 2xp, the prayers have been answered again. Ooh, PRC for the follow up. Oh, 2xp ah! for the kill. Ugh. What a good decision by him. I think that would have was the only thing that would have killed at that point. And it's not a common combo that you go for, you know? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Nice back dash to get away from the pop buster. Yeah, no. guaranteed wall splat here. Yeah, I'm not going to do with plus frames here, but still, this is just going to be back into the neutral, and that's definitely going to be SQ's advantage. PRC, because he recognized the Mega Fist was actually going to lose. That was very quick recognition from Flu there, but it's still not going to save his heart. And we are on set point for SQ. All right, SQ right now trying to break the pattern of streaking here, because if he could take out Fu right now, this will be the first player to have only won a single game. Oh, the Garuda, they both just kind of uh, bypass like two ships in the night. I know. How did that not hit? The, the Garuda, when it's out there like that, it just has no hurt box. It's like all yeah. hitbox. It's so weird. I just love seeing the high level use of like the PRC and stuff. Just they such good. Oh, God. Oh, no. What a, what a punish on that burst. Even locked down the corner again, sending out the sword to cover him. Oh, caught him reaching. Yeah, Ooh, it's gonna be a lot of damage like here. He's got the super attack as well. SQ taking it 2 0 for her team. Well done. Yeah. I mean, as much as you know, Potemkin is a big body character, Guts is only you know, three about average. I mean, he takes less damage overall during the entire course of the fight. So if they actually gave him like the highest guts, it probably would have been a little <laughs> too much. <laughs> but yeah, definitely gonna get taken out here at the end of this. Nicely done by SQ, doing what Super Noon could not. Yeah. So now I think that was what was rough about the fact that West Coast sent up Fu here, right? Because Fu, obviously, like we said, Celestial Brain could overcome a lot of bad matchups. But the fact that they didn't have but one Ramlethal, another one waiting in the wings, <laughs> is definitely a rough way for him to go out. But, you know, that's that's what you rely on Fu to do a lot of the time, though, is overcome those bad matchups, make these, like, miracles, not miracles happen. And, you know, unfortunately, he couldn't pull it off twice in a row. Lightning only striking once. 
All right. We'll see who we got next. But before we get the next opponent, we got to do a quick add shout out and also shout out to Satan with the big ass raid as well. Welcome everyone from Robakia. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Robakia. Yep. I so, mean, I guess everyone's uh, like ro in Robakia now. May almost everyone. Yeah. Almost. I mean, Thank goodness. I mean, one of my favorite stories is still because, you know, we always say like, well, Japan's internet is so good, so of course delay worked for them. And then when the Guilty Gear beta came out, even all the players in Japan were like, is this what they were talking? This is so <laughs> good. <laughs> You know what yeah, else is so good? Hitbox controllers, chat room. <laughs> I gotta, I, 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 I gotta win the Sage M fans over. Yeah. <laughs> Hit, hitbox, arcade.conscious yeah. level. Go check it out. We're also doing a giveaway for these amazing controls. I play on a cross up, which is made by Hitbox. Obviously, Hitbox is known for their leverless or stickless or digital controls, whatever you call it. Go check them out. Um, yeah, write Two big Levo, like I'm writing it right here. If you want to enter it, it's a hitbox yeah, giveaway. Two of the players in the exhibition, Reynolds and Cloud, are both on hitbox. Mm -hmm. Daigo kind of opened up the eyes to the hitbox in Japan as well. Yeah, it's actually Ooh. crazy that like Street Fighter players in Japan are all like super into it. Uh, a ton of people swapping. Um, and then yeah, we also got um, we'll, we'll do this now too. We also obviously have this if you want to see you can always go to exclamation mark bracket You can see here This has the rules as well on everything and we also got the match you know if you still want to give some something To the pot to the to so make this happen. Please check it out. I'm gonna link it in the chat and uh, Let me see who we got next. I think it's I think it's a louse Oh, her? Is it? The loudest I, I see West a bag. Coast. Let's see if. Uh... Interesting. Oh, it's decision. Red Ditto. Oh, never mind. All right. So, Randall thought the raid came in, and Red Ditto's got to do his hero proud. He's got to represent. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, he Look changed his name, name to Ram, Ram Ditto. Ditto. That's, the, that's the appropriate right now, so nicely done. This is definitely the Ram Ditto right now. Or the mirror match, as you can say. That's true, they did send a Ditto for the Ditto. Oh, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh, nice little 6P already. And then checking the legs of SQ as well. SQ maybe looking for a quick jump to wake up. No, anyway, cut on the ground. Oh, and the PRC at the very end right there, allowing him to get the low to get the uh, swords pick up as well. Oh, no, that were already in the corner, and you have keeping them combos burst safe. Ooh, even at the end there, waiting. The yeah, not gonna go for the wall break just to keep the corner position. Yeah, look at that. The burst, keep himself alive. Really great discipline defense from Ditto, honestly. Not giving SQ any type of free burst, and then a big counter hit. Recognizing it's high, but not close enough to the wall to get the explosion. All the 6Ps, anti-air, into the big sword swing for the round. Yeah, the 204 H OTG right there for the kill. That was so smart. That did massive damage. Corner position again for uh, Red. I'm sorry, that's a SQ is the purple, right? Yes. And uh, Red Ditto is the gray. Yeah, the Canadian tuxedo. Again, oh yeah, and then the 5k afterwards to make sure she can't do anything. Super, <laughs> just delete the rest of the health bar. One up, just like that. Oh, man. Is, that the nat is that the normal purple color for that? No. Yeah, it's a modification. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So I was like, that's a sick color. Why don't I remember seeing that? Lakers color here. Oh my goodness, SQ yeah, deleting the rest of the health bar again. Perfect this time. Last round almost felt like a perfect SQ. Felt like she was a little offended at that first round, man. She came out swinging. <laughs> It seems to have a little more experience in the RAM mirrors, perhaps. See if a uh, red ditto 
can continue to do the uh, to do Lovakia proud here. Yeah, we'll see. He's got to bounce back from that one because whew, SQ immediately after that first round. We see we see how quickly players can get the download on their opponents just after one round after one game. So we see if Red Ditto can uh, come back, bounce back a little bit, use that as an intel for himself. Who beat Fu? SQ. SQ just beat Fu. That was the last game I had. Yeah, I'm making it out of the way of the corner very uh, safely, cautiously. But they're trying to keep it locked down in the air, but can't find it. Man, she was slowed down for what felt like years right there. But then, of course, R seeing to keep that safe. Keep the pressure up afterwards. Ooh, caught him pressing buttons on the Daru. Trying to get something going, but I noticed that SQ is just staying up in the air so much. It seems like Red Ditto has been having a hard time trying to lock her down. Most definitely, and SQ would give this kind of tagging damage here and there, but Red Ditto, nice, confirm into the RC here. Get her up against the wall with the wall break, that should be enough damage. Oh, yes. Yeah, using that Daru buff, is it, I think max range slash, I was told, will combo into Daru at just about every range. So, knowing that if you land that 5S, that you can get the Daru in the red cancel afterwards. <laughs> and we're seeing a replay of that first game right now. Whoa. Red Ditto off to the races and then SQ. Just monstrous rounds to follow here. Still keep it locked out of the corner. Actually burst. Whoa, that is man. quite the My Hero Academia burst right there. Oh man, went to UA for that one. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not recommended there. That's one of those bursts that you just do kind of by muscle memory and afterwards your brain's like, why did you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, challenging after blocking the sword toss. I like that decision when he saw SQ go up into the air. Uh, Red Dito tried to run under. Oh no, the shimmy. Yeah, and SQ, I mean, that was, it legitimately was a replay of that first game. Like, Red Ditto won the first round, and then the next two rounds, just complete domination coming out from SQ. So, great stuff to her. Gonna be uh, continuing with some L's on the West Coast side. Unfortunate yeah. for uh, for West Coast, you know what I mean? That's two times that we've seen uh, East Coast and West Coast have tried to send up the mirror match, and uh, both players that have been sent up have lost, right? We saw K7 <laughs> fall to the Chetu in the Leo mirror, and now they try to answer SQ with Red Ditto, and that did not work out either. I mean, and also, keeping up the, the streaks here again. Fu, unfortunately, the only player who was only able to win one game jumping up there. Uh, obviously did his job, though. Super Noon was actually putting in a ton of work. But uh, unfortunately, West Coast now down with a 13 to 14. So not not a not a obviously insurmountable lead. Still very, very good. Is it actually only 13 to 14? It's either 13 to 14 or it's 12 to 14. It's one of those two. Wow, I didn't think West Coast was that close. <laughs> to, to be honest, I didn't know. Gotta have faith, man. Come on. No, much. Have you seen the way everything has been going down lately? Dragon Ball was a disaster. And the EU versus East Coast was a disaster. I'm not, I've got no faith. <laughs> and I gotta earn that faith back. I'm not. I'm not arguing. <laughs> yeah, I got no faith. I'm realist nowadays. From the F coming and winning the first Wednesday night fights, he enters ever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, like, I, you know, we're pragmatic around here. Oh man. But we still, to... of course, we still got some uh, some West Coasters that haven't gone up yet. Let me see. I mean, honestly, though, Brian F kind of waking people up on the west coast for street fighter i think is really kind of neat and even you know after the france pop-off from damascus against the u.s i feel like that's kind of set a fire under a lot of the u.s players for dragon ball so again you know we just saw the awesome uh hotashi punk hotashi marn sets and everything as long as we can keep it in game dude i love these rivalries man i love these call outs that's that's what we need to do yeah, well, 100%. I'm always down for the uh, the entertainment, the showmanship aspect of it. You know, uh, so that's always been my favorite type of player. So, and, and yeah. it draw and it just like drives, it, it creates the drive for the players, right? Like I said, you know, with France popping off against U.S., you saw a lot of U.S. players react like, 
oh really and then even japan got in the mix like goichi mm. was like hey wait a second you can't call yourself the best just yet and so but, you, know, you know we I, got I love that we gotta say nowadays the about twitter fingers you know james and like <laughs> i i don't even get invested into that stuff until i really see it you know like there's a <laughs> lot of talk but not a lot of action yeah it's true it's true i mean we just had a big talk earlier today and uh justin was the one showing the action there so you know, you know a lot of the time the people that do the talking uh yeah all right apology man going in here with the faust <laughs> so, yeah so i think it's the only apology man and reflected that have lives remaining on the west coast so <laughs> this is what we're seeing beneath here they have got some buffs, but obviously a lot of the Faust players feel like there could be a lot more. Faust having a lot of trouble on the defensive side of the game. But yeah, I feel so like that's a lot of characters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And in this situation, you can see his wrist gauge already getting cranked to hell. It was in red right before he got clipped by that purple. So, I mean, it's, it's a rough situation. Nice wake up PRC drift forward, but you can see SQ not committing to anything. So, then he get caught back dashing the command throw attempts. Like, Still, still rough for Apology Man to find a way open. Oh, the shimmy. That's going to be able to take the round. Nice. Coming up to your face, back dashing, catching your region. Oh, man's got a thrown out of the PRC on the super attempt. Yes. I didn't even see that. Ooh, straight for now. It's finally, Apology Man. That was a trade in his favor. I got the knockdown on SQ. Trying to drag it towards the corner with the mix, mix, mix. I thought that was punishable, I'm not sure. No anti air attempt from Apology Man. He's gonna open up the door for FQ. He's gonna use the YRC, however. He tried to get some of that momentum back. Meteors are always a good sight to see. Yeah, definitely. The, the Faust player is always happy to see Meteors. <laughs> One of the only things I feel like they're happy to see. Oh, but the, yeah, the purple afro mm -hmm. extended her box again, biting the afro. The blocks, but the hair is going to explode. Oh, I like the idea. Try to maybe get the kill before the hair blew up, but uh, did not happen. Yeah, unfortunately. What a sentence, man. What a sentence to say. <laughs> Try to get the oh, that's kill how good to get goals, you know? <laughs> oh, man. If I don't have some ridiculous sentences coming out of my mouth, it ain't a guilty game. <laughs> my goodness, already at the red wrist cage again. First thing as well, old PR seeing afterwards. Wow, he still actually had to block that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was great for a bounty, man. Here we go. Nice. I, I thought she was going to get clear under it, but no. Look at this. A bounty, man, with a huge life lead trying to take game number one. and. You know, look, as a Super Turbo Cami player, my whole entire career was based off of playing low tier characters in that game and pe having people not ready to fight you, you know, because they just yeah, they don't man. have a lot of experience. How, how many how many players in this exhibition have a lot of anti Faust experience? Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't really know out of the players that we have today, like in terms of like East Coast, right? Because that's who has to deal with the Faust. I'm not sure how many of them really play hook on the regular, right? Obviously, the East Coast does have their own Faust, but I'm just not sure how many of them have experience against them. Mankind. Dual one. Okay. Let's rock. See if uh, Apology Man can repeat that performance. One of the nice things about Faust, you know, is that Faust does have, you know, pretty decent range. Still no nothing quite to the extent of, you know, how it used to be in the older game, but still. That was a 6-6 six, six P. Yeah. Thing, like, Faust definitely has a really good range. It's just a lot of the time. He doesn't have, like, the, oh, nice punish on the burst. Well, I mean, a little, nice burst bait didn't get quite a big punish, but still. He just doesn't have, like, a lot of the disjointed powerful normals that some of the characters have in this game, right? Like, a lot of his big normals are still commitments and can still be counter-poked and whiff punish fairly easily. And, my goodness, Ram just putting him on life support. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of respect being shown as soon as he tried to wind up for the scalpel, he actually found the sword projectile. Unfortunate, and then the 2S checking the sneakers, scuffing them up. Yeah, just threw out a raw sword like that, nicely done, and was able to uh, take that round because of it. Uh oh, 
gets tossed. If you ever get thrown on yeah. their wake up, that's always a bad sign. Oh, the hammer bounce! Saved him. I can't believe he got a cross up in the first place. Like that empty jump after the, the setup in the corner was real weird. Oh, six age coming down. Oh, the mini Faust too. That's a psychopath right there. You don't want none of him. 2K as well. Able to catch him okay. low. Tying up rounds in this game. That actually means apology, man, is that match point over SQ. Trying to put a stop to SQ's little mini streak right now. The new viewers are coming. Oh, nice! My God, she got the throw out. But so good, so smart. Avoid the new viewers all together. No, see, Jack to the corner with that. Oh no! Put out the 2P. Thought she would just continue pressure, but instead just waited for the explosion to take him down. Burst out here trying to fight for his life here. The set is on the line, so Apology Man cannot afford to lose that last hard great 6P. PRC after the whip throw does get the ant here. Wow, he actually got the 6H conversion. It completely avoids the meteors, however. Oh, here we go. Can get the combo oh to continue. God. No, not quite. Too far away. Yeah, the jump oh, D the with hit. the Afro. You gotta be wary of it. He exploded. He exploded throughout the timing, but he got the hit with the 2K in the air at just the right angle to be able to continue the combo on the ground. Bomb. Bomb is in play. Yeah, he finally got the trumpet at the end there too. Oh, Mini Faust is a clutch thing to get in the scenario. You gotta turn around, Mini Faust. Help! Yeah. Okay, DRC, the pressure. Mini Faust is still oh. coming. <laughs> The I six didn't... heavy slash coming in. You're too busy worrying about the security guard, and not worrying about the psychopath <laughs> doctor in front of you. He's the one that's coming for your dome piece. Six H overhead. My good. I can't believe Mini Faust. He wasn't doing anything. Man was sleeping <laughs> on the job. I feel like there was once where Ram got like I don't know how he didn't activate. I guess it was because she got hit and like got into the air a little bit. I don't know how Mini Faust didn't activate. <laughs> Dude, that. Was... That, that mini Faust was just trying to be a threat. It was just trying to look <laughs> scary, bro, right? <laughs> like, what was he doing down there? <laughs> bro, oh, man. this is what you pay them for? You got to get new security, bro. You got to <laughs> raise his pay or something. He is not concerned with helping you out. Oh, man. But despite that, taking it. And I swear, the way that round ended, I couldn't even see who hit the other person. That's why I like, couldn't <laughs> even call who won the round. I was like... Uh, <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. Oh, <laughs> a baby group for real. Man, is just <laughs> vibing, bro. He actually just vibing out here. I can't believe that. But that was that was good stuff from Apology Man. Just uh, clutching that out. It's not easy to uh, seal any type of victories when you have that low of health in this game, especially against a character like Ram, who just has so much range. Like any type of trade or anything like that, is just uh, resulting in death is so hard to maneuver around and. Apology Man did it though, that's why he's uh, an incredible fighting game player. I just want to get a footage of Mini Faust walking back and forth and doing nothing and playing Mr. Blue Sky in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blue Sky. <laughs> and that was the second game too? I didn't know Apology Man won a game before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, had a few. I thought that was one up. Uh, mm. Dang. That was, that's a huge victory for Apology Man. That's a huge victory for West Coast. Oh, Sonic is stepping up to the plate. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Sonic fucks this. Dude, that was that was you did that well. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, I I think like like actually like Japanese pronunciation is super sick. Like when you actually like try to practice it. But I, I also think like pronunciation of Spanish and Japanese isn't that different. So like mm. if you're one or the other, I think your pronunciation in the other language is actually pretty good. Like every time like I watch Japanese wrestling and they like say like Spanish names and stuff, the pronunciation is always like really good. <laughs> it's interesting. I never thought about that, but yeah, I can actually, I can see that. I can see yeah. that. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Literally, how? I mean, just speak. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the uh, the written language is extremely different, but the pronunciation isn't that uh, dissimilar. Yeah, I mean, the one thing is that Japanese and Spanish both have the ability to pronounce all like like all of the combinations in the word. It's not like 
English where you have the word light and it's just like where did the G and the H go? Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah there's very there's a very like uh one syllable kind of like you say like Nakayama or Manana, you know, like there's yeah, that kind yeah. of kind of uh you know beat to it. They both have that similar tempo. Yeah. It's a it's, it's interesting. I, I see people highlighting the N's and the R's too. Yeah, I think that's probably like two two of the big letters that you really see. And then they say they use the uh, Latin vowels and whatnot. It's definitely a uh, cool similarity when I realized it. And it was because of wrestling. It was the fact that like I heard like Mexican <laughs> announcers pronounce Japanese names and her Japanese announcers pronounce Mexican names. And I was like, oh, this is actually very very interesting. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it looks like Sonic is coming up to the plate. We're gonna be on uh, Super Noon setup, so hopefully Loki is not running amok on the the Ethernet cable. Oh, it's not even gonna be Jacko. False advertising. Sonic Fox taking Apology Man quite seriously here and bringing out the Leo. Dang. Okay. Now they're not tied to a character for the entirety of the exhibition. They can change it, but they just can't change if they win, obviously, uh, as normal. Yeah, so I'm already causing Apology Man to burst, you know. Sonic Fox is very e excellent at applying pressure and Ooh. mixing up their opponent quickly. Interesting check from Apology Man here, but again, Leo the type of character that can just uh, erase you almost instantaneously. And then immediately now, Sonic bringing out the burst of their own. YRC in response to that. Ooh, and then Ooh. Sonic tried to test into the bleachers with that one. Charge the full punish. Great stuff from Apology, man. Yeah, I love that position right there. That punish that he had, just showing that he was all practiced and ready for it. Ooh, what a what a check with the jump H. And the throw is gonna take it for Apology, man. First round. Yeah, that was super sick. Sneaking in that throw as they landed. Clutch. Ooh, and then the mix, mix, mix. We're looking for that counter here. Wow, banana peels everywhere. <laughs> oh, is he gonna fall on his own banana? No, he did not. Oh my gosh, and then now he has mini fouls. Gotta do some damage here. The mini fouls heard me talking shit last time. He activated <laughs> mad fast. Oh, got a back turn now. You gotta survive though. No burst available. Does have the super. Oh, 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 the banana peel. And the first bait. He doesn't punish for the kill though. Come on, apology man. Oh, now oh, he can fire a C Oh my goodness. Okay, YRC to get out of there. Nice choice. Just needs one more hit. Oh, tries to wake up with a throw. Was outside of the range. And then, well, I mean, he's already dead, Mini Faust. I mean, but good job. <laughs> the banana peel, bro. I can, I've never seen a more clutch banana peel in my life. In my life. The potassium. Uh, dude, that was the, the, that was a, 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 a built-in burst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this man, uh, Paul, you know he's going to start cutting up bananas to put in his cereal, bro. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna... after that one, he's going to have to get more acquainted. <laughs> Part of a balanced Okie. As long as you don't microwave your milk you know, for the cereal. He's going to microwave the bananas, bro. <laughs> It's just the milk. It's going to be the whole cereal bowl. Let the bananas warm up the cereal. There you go. Oh, man. I'm not going to lie. When I was little in the winter, sometimes I would microwave my milk for cereal. All right. You shouldn't have admitted that, James. Now they're just going to judge us all as West Coasters who microwave milk. You're right. I'm just kidding. That never happened at all. That never happened at all. All right, well, Sonic now uh, has uh, clearly woken up. We went and got the quick help from uh, Petty Loki. Now we're back at it. Oh, yeah, protecting themselves against the peel that time. Well, what's nice is, honestly, uh, Apology Man is just doing a good job keeping Sonic Fox out. But, oh, yeah, he can't. He wasn't sure if it was going to blow up, when it was going to blow up. But here we go, Sonic Fox in there. Using the PRs, the, the Super and the PRC tech. Yeah, you see the, the little four-leaf clover on the ground showing, yeah. showing out real quick. <laughs> so he's got the throw, but as long as you're on the defense, you can't take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. oh. And there you go. Sonic Fox. Just uh, coming right back and saying, wait, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. I remember now. And now... <laughs> 
taking yeah, game exactly. number two in, uh, in in AGDQ fashion here. Yeah, I mean, immediately tied the setup here. This is super important for West Coast. This is like a, a W that would honestly, I think, gives them like a huge morale boost. Like it very much would make this exhibition winnable in a lot of their eyes. But it's all on the, the backs of apology, man. Here. Oh, oh no, full screen 16. An apology man, unfortunately, he didn't actually get the gold burst right there. I'm pretty sure that's what he was looking for, but still has the better screen advantage. Oh, doing a good job putting up a wall with Sonic Fox not to get through. Even 16, that really late jump H as well. Oh, tap dust on the uh, the train coming through. Oh, and got the trumpet before he's coming in there. But look at this one counter hit. Look how much life you lost, and now you're in the mix. Good block, YRC. Yeah, what a block from Apology Man. Yeah, Apology Man's use of 2P in the 5P is so good. Here comes the bomb as well. It's on that side of the screen. And it's not far enough, though, to hit Leo. Mm. Apology Man getting the YRC off again here. The YRC has a really bad tension penalty, though, so it's going to be a while before he builds much meter here to make something happen. But it's been a valuable tool for Oh, oh nice throw! Oh, wow, the awareness! Yeah, that's something you try to sneak in right after the YRC when you know your opponent's gonna respect something. A lot of times, uh, Lathan will try to sneak in like a, a Berserker Slash, but Apology Man was ready. Oh, the back turn cancel. Back to a throw setup. Overhead from long distance. Yeah, you just gotta hold on to the burst this time, fam. Use that one the next go around. One of the hardest things, honestly, is, you know, Faust can't get to too much of a deficit. This Faust's comeback ability, I feel like, is Oh, low. what a bait on the birds. I, I think he, Apology Man knew it too. He didn't want to get too far down in life, so he tried to use the birds early, but I think Sonic Fox read that, that play as well. Ooh, what a huge 6P right there. Keeps him back in front, keeps the, the corner as well. The weight coming down, making him block in the air. Okay, here comes Mini Faust, not doing anything again. There we go. There we go. He's mad, interrupted the pressure here. 100% tension for Apology Man. Has the world as his oyster, but it's 6P oh. coming out. Not expecting Sonic to get that anti air out in time. Super, he doesn't go to PRC, actually goes really late with it. Catching Sonic on the other side, it. but not enough to get a big combo oh. with a big jump each once more. We highlighted that when K7 and Chetu were playing, how potent that tool is for Leo. Jump age so far, so active, so much hit stun, and Sonic clutching it out for East Coast. And I think, is that refle reflected as the last one who I hasn't played so. on the West Coast side? And then on the East Coast side, we still have not seen Orion or Timo. Indeed, indeed, yes. It's a good point. Two of our qualifiers, Orion and Timo, through Big Levo and TCS. Still have not yet showed up. Reflected also, I believe, qualified through Big Levo. So. Right now, so right now it should be 13-11, right? Uh, three, uh, three remaining on so. East Coast for the single life, or for two lives, and then we got one. So I think it's obvious that uh, it's been shown that players aren't able to come back until the entire roster has been gone through because they're definitely getting through all of the, the players at this point in time. Mm -hmm. So Reflected coming up here. No decisions to be made. Last player on the West Coast with two lives. Going to be going up against Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox still sticking with that Leo instead of the Jacko. This is first of two. Every player has two lives, though. So... Say, if you want a three out of five two life tournament, uh, I don't want it. <laughs> You're gonna be here for a long time. <laughs> well, now, of course, yeah, as, you, as you mentioned, it's gonna be reflected coming back with a soul bad guy. Cool. Soul bad guy, 100% a grappler. I know they tried to buff the wild throw, but look, the regular throw is still so much safer and it has so much more power. Oh, that's it right there, yeah. The desperation DP even coming out of Sonic Fox at this point. 
you know, as a, as a little player, you just gotta let them know. You know saying? If you're gonna lose anyway, why not? Really delayed burst right there actually caught reflected. You saw him wait for a second when he first got the hit. Nice conversion off the wall, no MJ. Oh, I'll try to take the corner for himself. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Staying in the front, catching low. What is this mix up? Damn, son. Oh my. Both of these players lost their ankles. Jesus. All right. Okay, then. <laughs> Two dominant rounds for both those players, and there's that running 5K again. It's just, it's not even like outranging anything. It's just hitting him before they have a chance to hit Leo. Oh, yeah, but now we got the back turn. What are we gonna do with the guard break? Oh, back to back with the guard break. Three times with it. Oh, and then finally gets the overhead. Come in the air and caught the legs the afterwards. Uh, I'm so concerned about. Oh, wait, 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 hang on a second. Still, well. Wow. Yeah, you, I think you even run out of. Oh, actually, I think the side switch caused the uh, absolute guard, the faultless defense uh, from triggering anymore. And so he just got chipped to death at that point. Yeah, I, I don't know. He, he might have let go or whatever happened. Either way, it was going to be a near insurmountable comeback to make Sonic Fox showing why they are the best in the world. Ooh, wow. We can get up the pace for this song. 2K as well to check the uh, defensive pressure that Reflected wanted at round start. No gambits. We have 2D defeating the 6S startup as well. Oh, oh no. We have to find a DP, only finds air. And now the counter hit off of the 2D. We get the kill here with. The oh no, no super. Maybe it was worried it was going to be too high up in the air. Probably. Uh, Perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, blocked the Berserker Slash, but then you're still at that distance, especially after FDing it. Tough to challenge afterwards and just got killed by the 5k. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the backs are canceled real quick, just playing with his food now. Oh, it tries to challenge immediately, doesn't make the most of it happen. Maybe the second hit of the 5k hit, so kind of awkward. Yeah, you can tell that Sonic Fox has just caught a rhythm all of a sudden. You know, after oh. that first game against uh, Apology Man, after that, Sonic Fox was like, okay, I, I remember what's going on now. And there you go, all of West Coast now down to one life. Indeed, indeed. Everybody's lost one heart, only got one left to go. So I believe that's 1310 for East Coast. We still got Sonic Fox, Orion, and Timo all with their two lives still intact. question is now i mean obviously sonic fox one of the biggest threats on the east coast side who are they gonna send up like do they want to try sending up uh apology man again who did pretty good because they're all at the point where they can just reset so who do they feel like is, uh, they're they have the confidence in to defeat sonic fox's leo like who's gonna be like i got this i know how to fight leo so apparently, uh, according to the updated overlay, it's going to be Joe Biden that they're going to send Ooh, out. Ooh, interesting oh. chip, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would have liked to see Fu, honestly. But, um, you know, chip, chip should be an interesting matchup as well. We'll see how Joe Biden handles himself. He's able to kind of run rough shot, dodge these flash kicks, dodge these big uh, open ups that Leo can find and then just delete your health bar from. Cedo, man, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Sonic Fox, of course, lethal on whatever character they touch. And again, you know, I did say earlier that I was like, K7's the best Leo, and people were like, what? But Sonic Fox is this. Now, I do think Sonic Fox is a better player, but K7 is still the better Leo, in my opinion. Mm, yeah, no, I totally see that. I totally but see uh, that. Sonic is a better player. Sonic is just, you know, a monster. But K7 is uh, quite the player himself, obviously. We talked about his accolades offline recently, winning TSB, winning Summer Jam and whatnot. But hot take? It could be a hot take. <laughs> I'm still sad we didn't get to see any uh, Jacko. Maybe, maybe the next life. Yeah, maybe in the next life. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, we got a huge dono as well to the Macharino. Magic Candy Bar with the 200. Goddamn. Dang. <laughs> 
Magic Candy Bar. That man really be making it rain, bro. Thank you so much for the big two hundo. That's massive. That is that, that is definitely a golden ticket, man. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna have to be <laughs> Willy Wonka's fact chocolate factory over here for that donation. For real, yo. Yeah, and big thank you to Max Morton as well with the twenty-seven. Thank you so much. Woohoo! Again, uh, yeah, the TS make this possible. So if you do want to support, I'll drop the link in the chat. We're at $469 right now. Uh, still got a way to go. Let's, let's, maybe we can hit 1000 Be dope. Maybe we shall see. Get to that Maturino support. Of course, we got Left and holding it down once again on the production. Him and the whole team. Everybody, big ups to Turquoise and everybody that holds it down week in, week out, or whenever these Levos take place. The 10v10s, the, I know the, uh, I believe the East Asian one is coming up soon, or the Southeast Asian one. I can't remember what it was. But yeah, so we're, do, we're going to be doing something special for October, but more okay. more news on that later. Okay, got it. So we are going, once again, Reynold is going to be sent up instead of Joe Biden. Interesting. Awesome. Interesting decision here. Let's see if the Axel can uh, survive. <laughs> well, I was just getting four, and then the overhead. Oh, Bro, help! Oh, no. You know, that was a, like a real Reynolds style of offensive sequence there that happened to Reynolds, you know, Sonic. If anybody's going to do Reynolds, how Reynolds does people, it's going to be Sonic. That's just one of those things that you can tell Sonic is just so good at reading other people, what they want to do, what their tendencies are. They just have such a read that they know they can get away with that. Yeah, precisely. Oh, no. The super. Needing a whole lot of life again, putting him on guts. Oh, actually come up a little bit short right there and being thrown for the trouble. <laughs> All right, doing a good job trying to keep him out right now. The trade, nice trade combo. And he's gonna go for the full combo here. Maybe he's hoping the wall splat should be able to kill. Is this enough? No. Oh boy. Oh, not like this. Move. Yeah, the RC afterwards blocking on the Berserker Slash. Oh, he took the Goldbirds, Reynolds. That's how concerned he was with the situation here. He's going to try sneaking a command throw. He does it. Sonic still blocking everything. One vision again. Oh, finally finds the throw. Yo, oh, Reynolds. I mean, if because that super didn't kill, he had to spend the... the well, actually, that was... Yeah, he had to spend his burst for the gold, for the meter to take that round. Yeah, he really just didn't want to risk it. He resulted in a goal burst and he was out one visioning. I have a vision and this will be complete, whether you like it or not. Oh no, oh, that no. cover two buttons. Yeah, it's a frame trap. Oh god. Oh, no. Watch this damage here. Jesus. Uh, just like that. But again, the same situation there. Sonic coming up a little bit short on the Berserker Slash, resulting in a throw. Another throw this time, whatever Sonic tried to. The Reno, yeah, has the full meter. Blocked again. Is he gonna go for another one vision? Oh, he, he might be dead. He might, no, not quite. Gotta go with the mix up. Wake up BRC. Love that choice. Like I said, excellent defensive option. He gets the throw and Reynold is actually gonna take game number one. I cannot believe Reynold somehow clutching out that victory, finding every single clutch throw necessary. Dude, after blocking like five of those guard breaks in a row and then eating an 80% <laughs> damage combo in two separate rounds, somehow Reynolds actually lives and wins. <laughs> I, that is honestly very impressive for sure. Like the fact that he weathered both of those storms like that and was able to clutch it out. I mean, that's the type of mental fortitude you need on Axel, right? Like that's a character that like really gets rushed down and once you get close, it's, it's rough. So. I'm really glad that you can see the type of players that need to play him are playing him. Like, you got to have really good defense, really good mental composure, and Reynolds has that in spades. Well, you're going to be sticking with the Leo. I saw people in chat saying, bring out the, bring out the Jacko. Not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Duel one. Let's rock. Oh, and then being clipped. And it didn't quite get the up Renton in, in time to actually clip Leo. Great backdash, though. Yeah, backdash. And now Reynolds trying to build that distance, but the age just outside of the range, so whiffing a couple of times. Nice awareness right there. That's how you stop that. Obviously, if you are stuck in blocks, then you can't throw it there. 
Yeah, all Ooh, great to catch add. It's big damage too. Oh, he actually didn't get the, the last bit of follow up. I think you can get one more follow up there if you're actually. Yeah, Maybe with the wrong right there. So he, I think he just didn't charge up long enough right there. It's a little oh. tricky after the 6k. He's got the one. Oh, he tried to get the little <laughs> cheeky walk, have him walk under, but Sonic was ready for it. Oh, now you gotta guess. Oh! Hurt. Wow, he did the super PRC tech right there, but uh, yeah, he still got blown up. <laughs> <laughs> Active frames. Yeah, Active the back frame. turn is. Ooh, catches him, chasing, trying to get in there. Good life lead. Oh god, the two B finding its mark, letting him, letting uh, Sonic Fox get the pressure started. Yeah, now the Renston here. This is exactly where it wants to be. Oh, it looked like he could go for the command throw. The 2D does bring him airborne, though. So it could have uh, dodged that and then catch him anyway. But nice PRC slowed down and follow up for the combo. Yeah, PRC in the air doing well here. And so Randall is actually at match point right now to give Sonic, to take Sonic Fox first heart away, the first life away, I should say, in this exhibition. Yeah, this is definitely a big W for West Coast if Reno can pull this off. But now the close quarters combat has begun. Great back dash and the knockdown. Oh, yeah, he stayed on the same side. Now we got the one drink. I got him! Finally, Reno should be able to kill what he's looking point. for. Oh, getting the one vision to do his job to catch the air to air of all things. <laughs> That was a so smart, honestly. That was incredibly smart. <laughs> you know, Reynolds was just saying to himself, I'm going to get one of these on Sonic Fox. Watch yeah. me, because he went to that one vision so <laughs> many times. Most uh, definitely, right? And, uh, you know, in, in situations like that, um, it, well, in that situation, it wasn't as similar as to the other ones that we saw, where it was like one hit away, and he was just like using it to really cut off like all of Sonic Fox's options in the neutral. That was like... Yeah, he he won off that, but it was no. He needed the full combo to get the kill, right? It wasn't just gonna be like a normal that was gonna uh, execute the victory for him. So that was right. really good. And then just going up and uh, activating right as he would try the air to air. It was just super super smart. All right, so two players left on the East Coast over here. It's Orion and Timo, who, who we have not seen yet jump in here. West Coast is already on their second cycle of players but only on the first player of their second cycle yes oh man my oh, man stopped Han. yeah that, that was a big w for the west coast for sure reynold gonna be able to take down one of the juggernauts one of the heavy hitters in sonic fox Gonna force up those two players, as you mentioned, that we haven't seen yet, or at least the, the first one. Now we're gonna see if it's Orion or Timo. I believe uh, there was a Ludicu uh, for Timo, who I believe plays Soul in this game. At least last time I saw him play. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure actually. Um... Yeah, of course, Timo of Marvel Three fame played a whole lot of Marvel Three, played a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite as well. Yeah, I mean that's one of the cool things, right? I mean. Super Noon, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters player, Sonic Fox, NRS player, Tempest, Grand Blue Fantasy, you know, got Reynolds, you can call him KOF, Apology Man is Marvel, you know, Fu, originally Guilty Gear. Just, it's, again, it's awesome to see so many players from so many different scenes uh, playing and playing this game and being a part of this exhibition. Most definitely, man. Yeah, and that's uh, something that's just really cool about the, the way the fighting game community has kind of gone is that I feel like when I first got into the community, it felt like a lot of players were like, I'm a Street Fighter player or I'm a Marvel player or I'm NRS or yada, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And I think as people, you know, play more fighting games, they just naturally are curious and want to play more stuff. And because of that, everybody that's spent their time in the community and new players have been just been exposed to so many more fighting games. And now it feels like every fighting game that comes out now is kind of <laughs> doing what Dragon Ball did and bringing in all yeah, kinds yeah, of communities yeah. and like it just a, a lot of uh, a lot of cross pollinization when it comes to yeah. finding a community now, which is a beautiful thing. For sure. It's like people calling a stage jam a street fighter commentator. You know, <laughs> it's like man started on NRS and KI. Dude. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. It's cool that like 
I, I, I don't really like hold that against people that don't know that though. It's like kind of seeing a word for the first time and then pronouncing it wrong. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, it's it's not an ignorant thing that I hold against the person. They just don't know, right? So I think it's cool to like inform them of people's past because you see these players do so good at these games coming out now and you don't know that they were champions in older games or so good at yada yada, but anyway. I mean, the one that I always talk about, yeah, uh, just to close this point out, is Combo Team. People yes. always know him as that Capcom guy, not as one of the greatest fighting game players <laughs> that the U.S. has ever seen. <laughs> exactly. One of the first to, to, to really, I think, be so potent in every type of game that he took. But yeah, anyway. We got Reynolds doing, I guess, apparently a great comeback. I actually did not pay attention enough to, to realize that, but... It's tough to do on Axel against Billy as well. If you just get locked down early, it's not going to be an easy comeback. And already in the corner getting thrown. Let's see how he gets out of this setup. Nice defense, but then got hit by that master slash this. Oh, yes. Yeah, Mad Moon, the overheads are coming through. Try to check him low. That's not my Reno still blocking his feet. That little 5k check right there. Oh, too far away. Just hits him with the quick tap does. I don't know if he was trying to hold it longer. Yeah, oh, he wants that one vision so badly. I can feel it. Okay, no, not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, stuff from Reynolds, man. You know what? They always talk about Milia and Chip presenting some problems for Axel, right? Just because of their mobility and ways to get in uh, that a lot of other characters don't have. But you can see Amelia is still very low health. If she gets clipped by Axel, I mean, she does not have a lot of resources to sacrifice in that department. So good stuff from Reynolds taking the first game already. So I saw someone mentioning in the chat about Randall needs to learn how to jump slash like X, Y, Z, Z, Y. <laughs> X, Y, Z, Z, Y. I saw him play a match against Fab. Like he literally killed him with like 80 jump slashes, dude. It was <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a potent tool for sure. And already now Orion has Randall locked in his corner and tries to go high. Good block and punish yeah. on the bad move. Late burst right there once committed to the yeah. dead hole. Uh, nearly getting in there off of the negative frames of the snail. Nice back dash and to avoid the throw and getting his own throw, pushing Milia into the corner. And now dealing with the overhead and then backing off. Oh, he tried to get the whiff punish. Almost at it. Great hook indeed. Bad money at this time, RC. So no punch attempt available, a bunch of close S's into the throw. Oh, and he got the back dash, he ain't going nowhere, and with the wall break, that's enough. Now Wolf, I respect being shown to start it off though. Orion doesn't want to get too reckless about his approach. Reynolds, once again, already putting up that wall of axle defense. Yeah, that was a big instant block on that 2 Oh, don't know what Reynolds tried on his wake up, but he definitely just ate that meaty disc. Again, set up again. The YRC, however, just to try to hold oh, this instant blocking right now, but it's getting tossed in the corner now. Oh! Faded the burst, was able to block him, but didn't get anything off of it. Yeah, I guess he just didn't expect Reynolds to press buttons right there, trying to get a little bit too close. Because that Reynolds escaped has pretty much evened up the life again, but the close S is just flagging him. Not able to do anything, and a quick super one up. Dude, that button is like old school Street Fighter 2 OS is like you run up with it, but if they jump, it still hits them out of the air. Puts them right back onto the ground, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really good. Two hits, just yeah, we talked about its properties against airborne opponents, grounded opponents. It is one of Amelia's most important tools to utilize. So good stuff from around right there. I just noticed his experience level too. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what, what? Oh, wait, I see it. I see it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, 3,300 experience. Dude, how many games do you have to play to get? Because it's not easy to get your score that high, dude. No, it's not. Oh, already a couple of throws here. Reynolds ooh, sneaks behind him as well. And then fades the burst out of Ryan a little bit too far to get a full punish. But still, yeah. looking in control. Good blocks by Reynolds. Wow. But only for so long. Yeah. Yeah, it's like one of those Marvel 3 mix-up situations. Good blocks, but all it takes is one opening, and that's it. Amelia is definitely a character that, like, if somebody says good blocks on you, you better make something happen immediately, because that's not going to last for long. <laughs> mm. 
Ooh, and yeah, remember, this is Reynolds' second heart as well, so his life is on the line here. He could be completely out of the exhibition with a loss. Obviously, doing his work, put it, leaving one loss to Sonic Fox. But again, East Coast hasn't even gotten to their round two yet. Here we go, One Vision, not gonna send it just yet. Oh, here we go, oh, burst. And now the One Vision's probably gonna run out and it's not even gonna matter, he's gonna die going through the wall. Reynold is now officially out of the tournament, having lost both hearts, but again, both lives, but again, doing some work, giving one loss to Sonic Fox. Yeah, definitely, definitely. At least taking down one heart is big for sure. I know that is quite the loss for West Coast Reynolds, obviously one of the premier Strive players. And that Axel can present a lot of problems for people, but unfortunately it is out of the exhibition now. And it is going to be, I believe, 12 to nine on overall score for East Coast here. Yep, still pretty close. Although right now, obviously East Coast, you know, with at least a comfortable lead because they also get the full choice of counter picks. I mean, after uh, Orion uh, loses, uh, they still have Teemo to send in. And then after Teemo goes out, then they can put in whoever they want. So they have that advantage right now. Indeed, right? That, that's uh, super rough for sure. The fact that they have this lead and then they get to kind of be in that position, the counter pick going forward as well. And they're gonna have their whole roster to do so. That is. Definitely quite the disadvantage for West Coast, but I mean, it's what champions are made of, right? You gotta, you gotta have the drama. You gotta overcome the obstacles. If it's easy, it's boring. So, let's see. Did West Coast actually need me? Not nah, West Coast gonna win. I like that Marn has been very supportive of the West Coast throughout the, the event. <laughs> Despite not being able to play, he's at least there acting as like, you know, the Phil Jackson, the Vince Lombardi a little bit, just kind of uh, coaching from the shadows. Not really he's coaching, that guy that, offering he's that guy that walks into the locker room and all of a sudden is like, all right, boys, this is what we're going to do here. I want to see you guys go out there and kick some butt. That's, That's yeah, me. exactly. I was going to say the coaching is get hit or don't get hit and hit them. That's like right. the, the <laughs> he says that as he counts all of his, you know, uh, Justin Wong money there. <laughs> <laughs> So here we go, Ram, or excuse me, Ram Diddle, who <laughs> changed his name to it, of course, Red Diddle, on the Ram, going up against Orion, already off to an amazing start, but this is what we saw up against SQ, right? Ram Diddle was able to really take the first round, it was the rounds after that that plagued him, so. Nice stuff for the charge, Dust, Orion actually does spin his burst there, gonna try to bring it back. Whoa, oh my goodness, wow. deleted. You know, Amelia, what is that? Uh, second little help in the game? So, yeah, pretty, pretty rough. Okay, gets the hit towards Damn. the corner. Again, one of the trickiest things about Ramathal, if she ever hits you in the corner, I always call it a guaranteed wall break because for Ramathal, it basically is. Everybody gets hit by that because it comes from no, you forget. She has that. You just forget. Oh, man. It's just like. You know, that move, if you are new to Strive, haven't seen it before, it has a massive recovery. Um, so that's why Rams usually only do it when they have RC to cancel it. But yeah, I mean, without that context of knowing that it has massive recovery, that looks like such an absurd move. Like it just deletes whatever's on the screen like almost instantly. So uh, <laughs> big, big ups to Red Dead o, utilizing that effectively. From both characters here with a very low gut, so you can expect these matches to go pretty fast. Here's the mix up, gets the counter hit, immediately pulls the burst out of Red Ditto. Oh, nice! Yeah, the upper body in on the command dash right there is bypassing the far S. And now gets it for the throw, trying to go for equally as fast of a round practically. Look at this. <laughs> 20 seconds, 79 left on the clock, taking round number one. Oh. So fast. That was a sick whip punish from Orion as well. We already got the corner. Yeah, it's gonna definitely be a game that ends in an instant. One wrong guess, two wrong guess. How many are gonna be adding up here? Nice blocks for now, but tried to FD her far away enough to not get tripped up. Still got tripped up anyway. Doesn't break the wall and a gold bar. Wait a minute. Time to get back into the game here. Quick RC on the low that time. Orion doesn't want to give him that opportunity. 
You know, honestly, that was almost another 20 second round, but then all of a sudden, Red Ditto now with the comeback here, blocking down in the corner, getting the block that explode. Ooh, okay. When they canceled into the old Red Ditto now, a point away from taking down Orion. See, that was a nice comeback right there from Red Ditto. Now got to deal with this mix up. Nice block on the empty low. Again, went for that command dash, but that time you could see Red Ditto being a little patient. Mm -hmm. Ooh, again, looking at FD, trying to get the space back, but still just can't do it. No breathing room to be found. Uh, it's like you said, you can only block for so long. Oh, boy. And there we go. Okay, Orion now tying it up one to one. You know, See how a... momentum heavy this game could be. Just whoever gets that initial spurt. Yeah, and a lot of, uh, there's a lot of potent air buttons in this game. Uh, of course, Ram, we we all know it's well documented with her, but also a very well documented jump normal. That S from Milia, man, just again, that was the thing that sealed the last round. And it is just so like you can't mess with it when it's in the air like that. It's so hard to contest. <laughs> and so the ass the slash button, Get your head's out of the gutters here. So it's one up. We'll see it though. Looks like they're trying to let the connection settle out a bit. Mm -hmm. That's why we are gonna jump out of this, or they're just gonna go. It looks like they're just gonna go, yeah. Okay. All right. He'll okay. settle down, and yeah, 6P on the other side right there, just catching him as he landed. So again, you can use that upper body and roll to uh, dodge a lot of falling attacks and whatnot. And then the yeah, back throw. Put him in the corner. Didn't punish the burst in time. Doesn't matter, still gets the hit afterwards and has the pressure now. And the PRC on the disc. Oh, yeah, you can see the FDs are working out. Oh, I think that might have been the nerf on the jump H, just not hitting as far down as it used to. We go to mix up trade. Uh oh, uh oh. Are we going to see another comeback here? The chooses not to break the wall, yes. Just so you can keep the pressure going and do all this chip. Nice command dash right out of there to avoid the sword explosion. Indeed, good stuff from Orion right there. Now on set point off that, the jump is hitting super late. Off to a solid star for Red Ditto, just like that. Gonna put the sword on top of her, but yeah, no attempt at stopping the jumps. Here we go, picks up both of the swords, and here we go, yep. Always gotta watch out for that uh, dust, the uh, tap dust. Yeah, exactly. They time it so the explosion allows them to combo further. It's definitely. Oh, a Ram oh, Classic. Another quick RC. Damage. Make sure the proration doesn't come into play. Perfect, just like that. Final game. But, dude, like, it's been practically perfect. Even in rounds where it's close, one character does all the damage first, and then the other character practically makes a comeback. That was a yeah, sick cross up right there using the command dash to go through him as the disc and the, the heavy lifting. You see the buff to the Daru actually connecting at that range. And actually knew the distances so that even though the explosion wasn't going to combo, still was going to allow for the pressure. Look at all this health is gone. That Ditto just needs one more hit. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he's going to get knocked down. He's got no burst or super to with. He has a super to throw in with now. We'll see how it plays into this next situation, especially with the stage transition. Oh, the Daro just RCing instead to put the pressure on her quickly. 50% tension back for Ditto. He RCs away and then he gets the whip punish, but a burst from Orion staying alive for now. He hadn't burst that Daro, he would have died. Oh, but it's, no, it's still in the end. Instant air dash, jump K is gonna take it. But again, good reaction from Orion because literally that Daru had it hit, would have killed and he burst right beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely good stuff to Red Ditto. Hold it on, put another W on the board for West Coast, trying to keep this close. Um, but yeah, man, that is going to be it for me and Jay.